Right here, baby. Thank Tweezy, baby. A little bit toward the window. There you go. All right. There we go. There we go. Oh, Where this thing, man? Oh, what it do, what it do? I'll see what this is, huh? It's coming. You be patient a little bit. You dig? Yep, yep. yep. Yeah, we don't want y'all to fall for the okie though. You know what I'm talking about? We gonna talk about it tonight, though. Y'all come on in the building, man. All right now, being this right now. Yeah, high rise cartel. What's happening? What's good, brother? One four, right? What it do? Four, four, two four. What's up, Molo? What's up, Rob? Man, y'all come on in here, man. Y'all come on here. What's up, Molo? What's up, official? What it do? What's Kobe? up, Kobe? What's up, what it? What's up, Rob? What's up, man? Oh, hey, cool, shit, man. Coolin'. About to get it popping in a minute in here. Yeah. You dig? Yeah. Me and y'all come on in the building. Yeah. Take y'all time. Y'all rocking with the twins tonight, you heard me? Yeah, man. Think Twice Pod. We put my uh, Jeepers Creepers on, you heard me? <laughs> Think Twice Podcast. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With our co-host, Rock. What's up, Monique? Yeah. What's that? Rasheen from the Magnolia. Body Bob. What's up, Monique? We taking shots tonight, don't trip. Yeah. We taking shots. Speaking of shots. And thank you, David. Imperial Drive boys in this bitch simple wall first, PJs. You dig? What's up? What's up? We, we spoke about the Imperial Drive. They go around yeah. Imperial Drive if they want to, nigga. Leave you back there. For real. We wasn't playing back there. Fuck no. What's big up, guy, big guy? What's happening? What's happening, man? What it do? Y'all come on in tonight. Our uh, topic tonight is we talking about this about the gun laws, right? Yeah. So everybody talking about something. Why they let 18 year olds? Let me tell you something. Them little dudes been carrying guns in Louisiana. So they went, went or without that law. Yeah, facts. Today. Facts. So we gotta deal with that first. Facts. Uh secondly, secondly, you gotta pay attention, right? They just passed the law, no parole, and no. you'll be chosen to do that 17. And they bring it back, stop and frisk. See what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? You gotta pay attention. It's a trick bag, it's, it's a, a bag and then a bag. It's a trick bag. And they're not telling you that you're gonna go in there with your son or your child at 18 years old to buy a gun, they're gonna turn his ass around. Because you can't legally buy a gun to you a 21. Handgun. A handgun. Yeah, a handgun to you 21. 21. What's up, Miss Libra? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, they're setting up for failure with that new law, man. See, y'all got to understand, these people is not our friends. Mm -mm. You understand? They want to take you down and lock you up. See, see, somebody, got a friend. somebody can gift you a gun, right? But that person that gift you that gun... They're going to be responsible for anything that happens with that gun. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can just get the gun and go crazy with that bitch. No. You still got to be responsible. Mm -hmm. Just like, I'm, I don't know if y'all know or not, but you can actually sue the gun store or the pawn shop if they buy a gun. gun. That's right. And, and, and you shoot somebody with that gun, you can sue the gun store. Look at the ashtray. Oh, yeah. You can sue the gun store, bro. So it's not like you'll be walking around here without nobody to know what you got on you. You got to pay attention. It's, yeah. a it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a trick bag. Yeah. It's a game within the game. Yeah. That's right. You understand? Then you gotta think twice. There's a game within the game. Be smart, man. You dig? You gotta be smart. <clears throat> See, the way they do shit, they do shit shrewd. It's real shrewd and sneaky. You gotta watch them, they sneaky. You can buy a handgun at 18, I mean, a, a rifle. You cannot buy a handgun. Look at it like this here. Daxon, you're right. You said Louisiana for the bit of murder capital again. Look at it like this. What's up, Ida Pappy? Look at it like this. Look at who dying. Yep. You think they give a fuck? Mm -mm. Look at who died. Mm -mm. Look who the, getting filled in the mall. Man, the dude in the mall told me some every time somebody old died, they get two, three youngsters every time. You know what I'm saying? So to every one old person, it's two or three old people. Young for every one old one old person, there's two or three young people having a funeral. Imagine that. You know, y'all hit the light bubble. Y'all come in the room, man. That boy said, Booker said they want these dummies to get comfortable carrying illegally convicted felons. They're doing it anyway. They're yeah. already comfortable. Yeah. 
Yeah. Man, them little dudes be having all type of shit on them in the city. Y'all know that, bro. All type of stuff. But see, but this the thing. Since they came back out with this, uh, they know that people gonna misinterpret that law, dog. They know that. Mm -hmm. They know that people gonna think because you eighteen, they you won't just... bring them out. They yeah. gonna bring them outside, and they gonna be coming out there like that, though. Yeah, that's yeah. the whole little sneaky little game, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what we're not paying attention to, man. Yeah, we are. The only way that you can legally uh, 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 obtain a firearm, a handgun under eighteen, is if somebody buys it and gifts it to you. Or you in some special class? Are you in some special kind of program or class? Yeah, like. The military. But the person that gifts you that gun, th this game I'm giving y'all so y'all don't just go in here blind. The person that gifts you that gun, they're going to be responsible for whatever happened with that gun by giving it to you underage. You feel me? So you cannot, let me say it again, that don't mean you can go into the gun store at 18 or a pawn shop at 18 and buy a handgun. That don't mean that. That don't mean that. Don't get, don't get it confused, man. Don't get that confused. Because what they're what they doing is they throwing the law out there, but they, they, they're not fully explaining it to you. And exactly. guess what? Guess what they say? Ignorance is no excuse to the law. That's right. They don't give a fuck if you don't know. Yeah, they don't care about they that. They don't care about that, bro. They, they're perfectly doing that. Yeah. Man, you don't know. Yeah. Facts. Man, y'all seen, um, oh, we're going to get back on the main subject. We're going to just go over a little few topics we got. Um, nine people is dead in Zanzibar, an island called uh, Piabla Island in Zanzibar, after eating a sea, a sea turtle. Nine people died. 78 eight people got sick. Mm. But you know, see, you, you know, know you're supposed to eat that type of shit, right, man? Certain things you're supposed to eat, certain things you ain't supposed to eat. That's crazy. You're supposed to eat steak. You're not supposed to eat ass. Yeah. You understand? You're supposed to eat pussy. Yeah, you're supposed to eat pussy, not booty. Not booty. You understand? Know mm -hmm. mm -hmm. T.T.E. Naughty got released on bond. Everybody against him, new. So I ain't going to bash T.T.E. Naughty. But the whole world against that man right now. Yeah, bro. I ain't going uh, to go against Naughty right now. But y'all pray for that, brother. Man, he need prayer. He don't need it. Because he, he really, nigga got caught still in the motherfucking uh, fireball. The fireball out of the, out the liquor store. Then he went to jail for, yeah. for a blicky. I yeah. think for a stick while you're pushing. Yeah, he had a stick on him. I think oh, he looked wow. look for somebody to kill him. Yeah, little partner. Man, come on, bro. <laughs> I felt sorry for Naughty when he said, man, I'm going to commit suicide. I'm like, all right, I'm, 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 I'm going to stop. I'm talking about the King Yellow dude faking like somebody whooped him with a bat. That was, was fake? fake? That was fake? Yeah, he came out with a video saying it was marketing. What about the switches that went off in the background? You heard that fake ass switch? I don't know what that was. That shit sounded like a damn. I didn't know that, bro. A, a can and a bike tire. That boy retired dealer said, man, fuck them growing ups. Two of the dogs, rest was being kids being forced to eat the Ninja Turtle. Well, that's on them. That's good for them. They know better. Bruh, there's some hit and run shit in New Orleans. In the past three days, five people was hit and killed by a car. Oh, Damn. yeah, I seen I it. didn't know that book. I didn't know that either. Yeah, yeah I saw the other one the other day. Robert Fox said, yeah, I was in jail on no humor. Free Naughty. You did. I ain't gonna go against Naughty. Naughty got a lot of people going against him, bro. You did. But he fucked up right now. He come home, he probably don't even have no job no more and everything, man. Black mama said, nah, hell nah, twin. You got to eat the Buddha. Snatches our soul. Man, no, I'm not eating where no doodoo -doo come from, That's man. where doodoo -doo come from, my boy. Can't do it, my brother. Not my era. That's the new era shit. That's y'all era. That's y'all era. Y'all eat all the booty y'all want. Yeah. You booty eating little niggas. Booty mouth. Booty. That, boy. Yeah. Nigga breath don't smell like doodoo. -doo. Like doodoo. -doo. Booty mouth ass. Poo poo. You gonna say poo poo. Poo poo. Yeah, you can't poo -poo. say poo poo. Poo poo mouth ass. Yeah, you gotta what happen when you get poo -poo. one of them little balls and little crumbs in your mouth? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Between your teeth. Yeah. Oh, oops, there's some hair in your teeth, bitch. <laughs> oops, oops, there's some hair in your teeth. Y'all got rolling 60 hats on. Well, actually, it's neighborhood. 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 Not rolling 60, it's just a neighborhood. That yeah, neighborhood. But we don't, we don't bang, no. Nah, we don't bang. We've been, we been wearing New York hats forever, bro, in New Orleans. That's you know that, Zoe. Yeah. That's just our thing right there. What up, y'all? What's up with the laws? What we're we saying is, they passed the law. They said that. People in, who are uh, 18 in Louisiana who can legally buy a gun. Can conceal carry. Right. What they're not telling them is you can buy a rifle when you're 18. You cannot buy a handgun when you're 18. Right. So people are gonna be thinking that they can get somebody a handgun that got papers on it and legally conceal it. And when they get caught with that bitch, you're gonna be charged with it. Yeah, it don't go like that. Man, the way that go, bro. No, I ain't eating no ass. Kevin Gates got him fucked. Do you right, book? Kevin Gates got him fucked up. Got him fucked. I ain't no booty. That nigga Kevin Gates crazy, dog. I ain't gonna lie. I love the nigga music, but this nigga crazy. I seen Kevin Gates say so he'll drink a cup of somebody piss. Oh yeah. It looks good, Kevin Gates, bitch. I ain't doing it. You looks good, boy. You drink a cup of somebody piss? Come on, man. We we's not doing that, brother. That boy said blood comes out that pussy every month. What's the difference from a little booty? 
Uh, shit come out every day. Every shit day. Come out every day. That's a different mother shit every day. It's supposed to come out every day. Yeah, that's healthy. He says, so if I ask fat, you ain't putting your face in it? Mm -mm. Uh, no. Especially if it's, it's, if it's the fat ass. That I means it's sweat between them. Yeah, boy, you crazy? You got three, four inches of motherfucking in decrease. Say, bro, listen. If my girl want a, uh, a nigga, she can go buy and get her boot ache. Baby, baby, go ahead. Because I ain't doing it. Come out be afterwards. Yeah, come out be afterwards. Let me go eat your booty. Yeah, that's it. What's the name of it? Uh... Yes, I don't know. Something. Uh, bro, I'm about the man. It should taste good, though. No, bro. No, we ain't doing that. I, nah. Nah, uh -huh. D, man. No. Think about it. Y'all like the video, man. You know what I'm saying? Like the video, man. Subscribe to yeah. the Sea Toes. Yeah. Say, bro, NBA Young Boy, that boy selling his house for 5.5 mil out there in Utah. Oh, that yeah? means he might about to come back and get on his grizzly because he, he was going. He almost, yeah, he almost, he almost finished that, little, uh, that house arrest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to the NBA Young Boy, man. Yeah. You dead. One of the best young artists Free out there. Guys, right now. Free the guys, Free the guys, man. Free the guys, man. Hundred gold records. Yeah, hundred gold records. Free the guys, man. Everything he touched, platinum, son. Free the guys. Yeah. Robert Fire said, "Ah, niggas crazy. Niggas love doo doo highway. Damn, I ain't fucking with it, bro. I'm not no man, bro. Listen, anything a man do with a woman, that's on y'all. That's on y'all. You know what I'm saying? That's on y'all. But I ain't me myself. No, indeed. I ain't doing that, my brother. I ain't y'all liking booty a little too much now. Yeah, you like it a little bit too much. A little bit too much, man. My but my homeboys, I'm gonna break my tongue off in the ass. <laughs> he gonna blow bubble. <laughs> see, see, but them nigga wild, 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 bro. That nigga NBA be a young boy. Got ten gold and platinum records. Man, young boy, that man right now. He that man, bro. He yeah. is. He the one, dog. Gotta give me props. Gotta give me props. Yeah, he. Rapper for the hell, nah. I stand on morals. Man, I don't think a woman respect a man that eat a booty like that. She mm -hmm. might like him sexually, but she gonna look at him when he get, come up and smile. And see that hand is cheating that little brown mouth? Booty mouth, bitches. Booty mouth. Stank ass, booty mouth ass. Nasty. Nigga, man. I don't think she will respect I heard, you. I heard y'all. That's what I did. That's exactly how I feel. If a chick let you eat their ass, they don't respect you. Many gonna grab the back of your neck and shove their neck into the ass. You. Ugh, boy, she ain't gonna respect they don't you, respect boy. You, man. Them people trying to purge us around. Louisiana government, plus they making it hard for the brothers to come out out the pit. Yeah. Well, well, you know see, what, though? That yeah, needs to happen. Whole set up. That needs to happen so y'all can wake up. Yeah, and y'all can well, stop talking this shit about we Indians and we this and that. I understand they probably had attack. a couple of them try to use it as a fear fact, a fear factor. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, but yeah. hey, a fear tactic. But hey, man, look, check it out. It's all a setup for the make money for them damn uh, penitentiary. Yeah, private the private penitentiary. penitentiary. That's all that you know is. Well, especially they gonna lock your ass up and they're not gonna let you go. You do your whole bid so they can make all their money. If the, look, if the point is supposed to be re rehabilitation, right? Then why are you taking away parole? In good time. Right. How you rehabbing somebody? You never letting them out. Right. It ain't about rehab. It ain't about rehab. It's never been about that. Yeah, they showing you. They showing you. They showing you. It's not about Even rehab. For, most, for, for the majority of, of us went to jail. It didn't rehab us. It just made us smarter. Yeah. Mm, right. Different way, you know, I got to move different when I get out of here. Yeah. Right. Right. Look, right. you see, that's way better than Wayne when he was young without winning no awards or ever being on no wall show. Yeah, but I ain't going to lie. Young boy individually probably had... As much success as any rapper in New York. Yeah, and he rapper passed the Beatles up. Yeah, he did his thing, bro. And he burped a lot of these new rappers. Oh, he burped a lot of them. A lot of them right behind him. The boy walked yeah. pigeon toes like that boy and everything. Yeah, Renell Trian. Keep that raw shit coming, that real shit coming, fellas. Much love from Del Cambre, Louisiana. Appreciate you, bro. What Del Cambre? What that close to, Renell? Del Cambre. Yeah, bro, I never heard of that. Mm -hmm. But I knew they get it in out there. I heard of that. Yeah, bro, but listen, y'all got to be smart. All we saying is, it's an illusion. They shrew when they do shit. They, I, they think, they, they calculate their moves. Yeah. You know what right. I'm saying? They calculate their moves. They know. Well, I tell them niggas they can get it. They can have a gun. It's all a, of them. It's, it's a, a hidden gun. agenda. Yeah, it's a hidden agenda. Yeah. It's a hidden agenda. Oh, he said close to Lafayette and Abbeville. For so, sure. Okay, okay. It's bad, man. Um, Henry Hart said they be, they be hacking niggas up big time now, I was bro. reading deeper into that, man, and also stumbled across just some, some stats that's in, in Louisiana, period. Man, they the second in, in the whole nation in poverty. They uh seventy one percent of uh of uh students are um, uh, um economically leaders. disadvantaged. It's uh it's uh first in in no in well being for children for no well being for children. Man. God damn. Let y'all play say so they leave in no well being for children, bro. Let y'all play say it's crazy you can buy a gun at 18, but can't buy a bottle of Hennessy. You can buy a rifle. 
You can't buy a handgun at 18. Yeah, you can buy a rifle. You can buy you a rifle. Get you an AR. You can get an AK. AR, a Draco. AK, Draco. Robert Fire said, man, shit just fucked up. It's only gonna get worse. Gotta yeah. stay focused. Yeah. Ain't gonna get worse for me and my, and my people, dog. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get us to stand up. Yeah. And understand what we're up against. I'm trying to get us to unify. Organize yeah. ourselves. Organize ourselves. We're gonna be up against the same enemy. Where we from? Where we from arm encampments. Everybody I was around always carried guns anyway. Right. Ain't much gonna change for me. Right. You everybody had guns. He's everybody carried guns. Building, man. Yeah, everybody carried guns. Yeah, I remember carry when guns. I turned 18, boy, they were selling them mugs uh, right across the street. Oh, uh, you could go get a motherfucking cake. Yeah, a Mac Yeah, a MacBook at the gas station? Yeah, the, uh, the, uh, by when Dixie. Oh, what that was security. That. Security. Yeah, you could go right up in there and get a whole fucking Mag Nine in that bitch. Yeah, Bookie, Bookie said martial law is coming. Martial law is already it's here. It's already here. It's already here. Been here. Listen, anytime, but listen, anytime the police come to your house without no search warrant, that Obama sign, and come in there and grab you and take you out your house. Well, I even have to tell you shit. They gotta tell you right nothing. now. That's in fact right now. That's the Patriot Act. Y'all yeah. didn't know. That's the Patriot Act. They don't need no search warrant to come in your house no more, boy. Yeah. They don't need no surgery. They warning. don't need that. They ain't gonna tell you what they're arresting you for. Yeah. Y'all gotta wake up, man. Yeah, we talk the street shit, though. We conscious too. Yeah. Monique Garmacy, what y'all think about 39 year old Dre getting pregnant for 22 year old Jalen Green? Hey, man. I think Jalen Green is a grown man. He's a grown man. He's a grown man. He's straight. Yeah. He had the money to when they ain't gonna break him. Yeah. He's yeah, straight. He he, he, he got God. He got God. Yeah. Nah, he could have pulled out a bust on her face. He, oh, he might really like it. He might go like that. Maybe so. She got some good pussy. I like her. Yeah. Like my nigga Jerkins. She got some good pussy. I like her. How you feel about Gil with Arena doing, you know, him and, uh, and, and, and See, I'm pretty sure Jalen ain't know that. And Young. I mean, but listen, man. Look, everybody freaking somebody white, bro. Yeah. Everybody fuck somebody. Well, everybody fuck somebody white. Right. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna way before this. I wouldn't care. She made you make me happy. I'll be like, man, what the fuck? What she did? What she got? He like what he like. That's on him. All of them be. Uptown, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening, what's happening brother? Them, um, hookers. That's what I call them. They don't need no search warrant. How can you explain this, this, this please, sir? Uh, stack money so We already explained. What you saying? I call them a tick. What? Ticks like Jared. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we explained it to you. It's called a Patriot Act. Go look it up. It's called the Patriot Act. Go look it up. Yeah, it's called the Patriot On the Patriot Act, they don't need no social warrant to come to your house no more, boy. Y'all know black kids ain't moo moo? Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah, yeah. R.I.P. Moo moo. R.I.P. But yeah, we know black kids. Black kids was dating cheap, cheap to black during that time. That was our people. That was man. our people, man. Moo moo, man. Damn, R.I.P. Moo moo. Right there, man. Yeah. What's up, Nut House? What's up, Nut House? Damn. That's a throwback right there. Man, they had Buku niggas say they was in the Soul Train God. line getting head from Drill. Look here, bro. <laughs> look here, bro. What's the, what's the little young dude she married to? Jalen Green. She ain't married to him. They ain't married to him. All right, well, listen. Green. Jalen Green, they, got, they probably had his freak on when he was in college or whatever. Yeah. He ain't worried about all that, bro. That man, look, she do what he, what he needed to do. Oh, he wouldn't be with her. He put a baby in. He going to stay to the plate handling his business. Don't, don't. He young. He they, got they, it. They were phony for that, though. Want clown. Yeah, they phony for clowning. He can do what he want to do, son. Yeah. Ain't like he forced to fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? And she been doing her thing. He know what she was for. He got with her. I'm pretty sure nigga told him when they saw him this, on his own the first time. This is my thing, yeah. If he happy with it, what's up, dude? Really? Yeah. If he like it, I love it. Right, he like it, I love it. Who so am I to go against? thing I said about Zion and the Pons. Yeah. Fuck, <laughs> nigga, 19. Yeah. What about you think? Nigga, I was 19. Fuck it. When I was 19, of you couldn't throw a rocket hit me in my ass, boy. I wasn't no man that was cutting up. I was cutting up. No, when I was 19, fuck it up a stone. Cutting up so goddamn. And you know? this man, a million, you think yeah. Zion don't get no. As I say, man, let Zion live. Let him be great, man. Let, let him do his thing, man. Had a room. Yeah. Come on, man. Let him do his thing, man. Come on, bro. So I don't, I don't, I'm going to be real with y'all. If, 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 if Jalen cool with it, dog, I ain't, I don't, that's on them. Even if he ain't cool with it, that's still on him. <laughs> but I, I ain't going to do it. I ain't stepping in front of no dick. That's what God damn Damn sure. Sure. Damn sure going to miss me. Yeah. Hola, amiga. Como esta? Bien, 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 bien. They too? They too. I seen that he the Pelican fight, boy. Yeah, it, it was it was kind of it was kind of weak, weak, man. But uh, now he did choke. Buckets. Jimmy Buckets. That's for sure, for sure. It did. They, they lost the night, man. They just came out bad, bro. Mm -hmm. They came out bad. What shoes y'all rocking with them lows? Well, uh, white nine fives. Mm hmm. Fetty boys. Yeah, what up, fam? Yeah, they ain't about to get crucial out here. It really been crucial. It what? been crucial. Every nigga I know in New Orleans always kept a gun on them anyway, so I don't understand. Like, only thing gonna get crucial is nigga gonna misinterpret that law. Yep. Never gonna get crucial. Yep. And a lot of niggas gonna be getting locked Man, up with. The shit is set up to lock up our children, dog. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what it's for, dog. It's for to lock up our children. You know? 
And y'all talk about some go out and vote, go out and vote. No, man, get somebody that's gonna represent us, man. Yeah. Cause everybody gonna, they gonna give you, they gonna give you a fucking crumb. Why they hit you with the whole hit with in the head with a the head with a They gonna give you something that gonna help them too. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's what I'm getting yeah. to. They gonna give you a crumb. They gonna give you this crumb by the whole while they got a whole a, a, a old loaf bread that knock you across your head with that thing. Yeah, they gonna that benefit pie. them more. Yeah, it's gonna benefit them more. Cyclone in, in the rich. Cyclone says she got a son older than him. So? 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 No, this is what I'm saying, bro. We always say on this show, bro. I think people have a right to be whoever the fuck make them happy, bro. That don't, that's what you, that's what life is. That's what life is about. Pursuing Even happy. though if you don't see it like that, if he happy with Drea, man, hey, man. She damn sure happy with him. So, mm -hmm. hey, man. If he like it, we love it. We got to love it. He do rich. He money to happen in, but he already got money. He got money. He ain't tripping. Yeah, he ain't tripping. A nigga like me who ain't got no grip like that who will take everything I own. That nigga signed a big old deal, too. Yeah, he good. He just signed a big deal. And he a dog. And he a dog. He gonna, he gonna, he gonna keep, he gonna, he gonna, be, in the, he gonna be in the league. Free the guys in the feds. A lot of good men in there, man. Yeah, dude, yeah, a lot of facts. You know? So that's a good thing. Motherfuckers who are already in there, they can still get parole, but you new motherfuckers go in there, bitches. Nuh-uh. You know, that's what I say, Cyclone. Home and ground, bro. And he got his own bag. Is that on the federal level, too? What? What? Oh, that's just state. What? That's just Louisiana. With the guns? No, no this is Louisiana uh, passed where you got you, 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 you. No parole. Oh no, Louisiana passing parole, no parole, no good time, no good time or nothing. You go in jail, you gonna ride that whole time out, son. They the what first the fuck? That's some bullshit. Hold up, how you? How you? That's the first. No one parole, one? no parole. Man. That's unconstitutional. Now, bro, every time I go to jail, they got a white boy on that bitch that, that can't believe that it's so fucked up down here, and they talk to you so bad, and they feed you fucked up, and they make yeah. you go. White boys all can never shit. understand that. Mm -hmm. And they all they, 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 they be like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Like, this is fucking unconstitutional. Man, I'm calling out. my lawyer in the fucking morning. You don't even fucking know. They're going to have your ass. They're going to have your ass. Yes. Bam, bam, bam. You just hear yourself. Go to sleep, S -I -D for the tape. They to come get this bitch out this cell. He's going to be over there with that mace in that little cell by the hand by itself. Mace. Oh, they did that cold, cold. That cold, cold. Yeah, the detox cell. Mm -hmm. And they handcuff you to the floor too. <laughs> Did y'all know the white boy that was stuck in the know you for days? I, I, I don't know uh -huh. about that. Man, I only knew two white white dudes that came in the Magnolia uh, a lot. That was Jimmy and Joe. Yep. Rest in peace, Joe. Jimmy, shout out my dog. I don't know where he at right now. Right. He gonna wake up like like PJ Walton, huh, bro? I'm trying to tell you, boy. Yeah. No parole, bro. No, no, see, I'm telling y'all, the, the reason why we made this live right here, man, but to let y'all know, do not think because you 18, you can just have a gun on you because it's legal. That's not what that means. That's not what that means, dog. When they say that you can conceal a weapon, that means the gun that you can legally buy. Or if it's gifted to you. But again, even if it's gifted to you, the person that gifted to you is going to be responsible for whatever you do with that gun. Just like a pawn store, pawn shop or a store have to be a responsible for who they sell guns what? to. That's how the shit go, bro. Yeah, man. Pretty clean front saying, what up, twins? Gangster went off Vlad dropping gems and Ripper felt some kind of way and wanted to challenge Gangster to a boxing match. Man, they can't get in the room and fight nobody at no 50 years old, man. <laughs> I'm not, I wouldn't. I ain't fight no nigga, man. For the right price. I ain't fight no nigga, period. Hold on, he said for the right price, though. For the right price. Yeah, I'm doing that bitch and dad. With them nine-year-old boxing skills. Yeah, I get up on them. We'll punch you up. So we about to go to war. We already at war. We already at We been at war, bro. We been at war, bro. Look at the battlefields we come from. Psychological warfare. You did. Oh, Make it's going to war, man. It's economical war. warfare. Man, listen, this think time, about it. This time the war going to hit here. Think about it, bro. Think about it. And our communities at nighttime, we hear gunshots. Every night. Every night. We, we hear sirens. Guns. I mean, not why I'm at a huge amount in New Orleans. Yeah. Compton, yeah. Philly, and depending where Black you are, Lewis, Houston too. Don't take it away. No, yeah. I'm just saying, in the black community where in the yeah. hoods, it's a war zone. We hear war every night. It's a war zone already. Twins, if y'all own a legal gun shop and they show ID, they show the 18, would you sell to them? No. No. No, no indeed. Law. I'm going to the feds immediately. You gotta be 21. Yeah. You gotta be 21. That's federal law. It's federal law. If somebody 18 has a handgun, it has to be gifted to them by somebody. That bought a handgun legally. He said they didn't pass that law. Twenty, I like no, they passed it. Bro. They passed it. We ain't talking about the no parole. They passed the conceal, the conceal carry. Yeah, they passed that. Yeah, we talking about the no parole law. No, that is on the table, but they're they gonna pass it. They're gonna pass it. It's gonna pass. Yeah, it's gonna pass. Corey Patrick, I just seen the Florida video talking about he's American, not African. You can feel how you want to feel. He don't know no better. He don't. 
That monkey looking motherfucker. I, bet, I bet you the Mayweather plantation or the people that own the Mayweather, you can pull them up. Man, you did. This stuff, this the thing, bro. Of course we've been in America for all these many years. You know what I'm saying? When we, when we say African, we mean that's our ancestors. That's it. So if you want to identify with being American, that don't mean denounce your African ancestry is what I'm saying. Yeah, that's fine. You can have a rifle for hunting at, at like 18. At 18, you can buy a Drake, an AR-15, a pump, a pump, any kind of rifle. Any kind of uh, rifle you can buy at 18. Yep. You just can't buy a handgun at 18 years old, man. He's like, I'm, no, a, he's he's like, I'm a felon. I ain't looking too many places at all my hammer. Goodbye, Louisiana. Six months old. When your last, when your last um, disposition was, if it's more than seven years, you could go get a gun. You can go get a gun out here in Texas. Well, it's been seven in years. Louisiana too. It's I seven know that. years in Louisiana. It's five years in Texas. I didn't know that. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that. Good game, right? Good game, right? Good, yeah. Good game. I Good never game. knew that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, man, I, 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 when I went to California, last time I went to California, in between. Uh, Palmdale and LA is commerce, the city of commerce, right? Yeah, yeah. To the uh, outlet of commerce, That's California. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I just read that there was a CEO, she's 51 years old, sending news and having sex with him the juveniles at the juvenile facility in commerce, bro. Wow. Yeah, oh, she is? 51 years old. This boy's a juvenile. She's fucking him and sending pictures and everything. Oh, wow. That's sick, bro. Wow. That's sick. Who's up, Greg B? Out of Pappas, say, oh, geez. What mayor had the most corrupt cops mobbing while they was in office? Bartholomew or Moriel? Oh, Moria. shit. Shit. I got to see Moriel. Moriel. Man. Yeah. Bartholomew was a good mayor. Yeah. Moriel was good in the beginning, too. Yeah. Well, Moriel was getting high. Let me tell you what y'all don't know. Every mayor or governor we had, they finished their term, they go to prison. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ray Nagin, Moriel. Yeah. Uh, Jindal, all of them, bro. They all go to jail. They, they find a way. Corrupt. They find a way to go to their monk ass to jail. They go to jail. Jefferson, do the research. Angela, Jalila, his daughter, Jefferson. Do the research, bro. That shit crazy, man. All right, you got one more year. Stack money, Zo. Yeah. Uh, Fat Max said, don't the rubber got to be at least 16 inches at 18? Yeah. It had to be, I'm not sure, bro, but it had to be a certain length. So at 18, you can legally buy an AR. You can buy a Drake. You can buy AK, Mac yep, 90, yep. shotgun. You cannot buy a handgun at 18 years old. You did? Can't do it. Can't do it. Yeah, man. The constant they starting to um they starting to follow the uh the constitution a little bit more now mm -hmm. on that stance when it comes to guns though. But man. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real with y'all, dog. We come up in war zones. To be totally honest with you. And everybody, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna speak for my partner. I ain't gonna speak for your partners or rock partners. I'm gonna speak for my partners. Everywhere we went, everybody always had a gun on them anyway. And all of them was convicted felons and one pulled their habit that was illegal. So I don't, I mean, yeah, it's going to be different with us. It's going to be different, but at the same time, it's going to be not different. It's going to remain the same. It's going to remain the same. What I, what only thing I can do as an adult is make sure I'll go around places well. If you're supposed to have it, have it. If not, be shooting this you shit better like run. You better run and don't have it on you. Simple. Yeah, for real. Yeah, so yeah, like, like I say. When I walked in there, boy, who? When I read, when I heard that on the news mm -hmm. out here. Oh, they, what? Five, five years? Yeah. Okay, let me go see him. Shit. And, they, and, and, and that shit didn't come back, right? Yeah. So I got my gun by, by the Brady Bill. So the Brady Bill, if they, if they didn't came, if the feds don't send back um, approval. Within 72 hours. Within 72 hours. Yeah, you, 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 that's how I got that's mine. That's how I got yeah. mine. Because I see you on the news for murder, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Way back in the Jeep. I said, man, yeah. look a rock, man. Yeah. I, I, I got my dog down bad, yeah, man. Yeah, had him down bad, though, man. Yeah, I got my dog down bad. Shit, What's man. up, Buku Bam Bam? I was bam, happy bam? a motherfucker, too, that told me to call me come pick up them guns. Yeah, I'd have been happy, man. Thank you, sheesh. Yeah, what's up, Buku? Twin, what up? Florida the past concealed gun laws too dirty south don't play. Yeah, man. Yeah. I got but see Florida what I'm, was what I'm saying is, say, bro, I'm going to be real. Like, for me, even when I go home for my life, when I go home on these little... You know, everybody still be strapped anyway. So I don't, it ain't no big thing. If you're supposed to have it, you ain't got nothing to hide. If you ain't supposed to have it, they got to catch you with it. Yeah, run. Right. It's always been like that anyway. That's how we used to play it. Damn, skipping. Out of Pappas said, Elders had good prices on bangers back in the day. I heard a lot about them. Yeah, I bought a uh, a 45 Lima. Yep, out that bitch. Out that thing. And some rules. I bought, we see the police in there too. Yeah. He was like, hey. Yeah. That boy walked up on me, he was like, hey, what's up? He looked at that boy like, who the fuck is you? Jeff. Is it Jeff? From the six. From the six. We were like, oh, all right. Yeah. We were wondering what the fuck we would buy guns for. Everybody in the hood ain't no felon, bitch. I can yeah. go buy guns like you can buy guns. That's right. That's right. You did? What's up, Jason? Yeah. What's up, Jason? What's up, homie? They passed a new law so we can, we can what more? See more trade for Martin. 
It's all good. No, we're going to see less Trayvon Martin. We're going to see less of them. Because Trayvon Martin ain't had no gun. So how are we going to see more Trayvon man, Martin? That's going to happen too, man. They're going to be able to not Trayvon Martin. It's going to happen. Them, them police shooting, yo. Yeah, it's going to happen. They got a lot of black police in New Orleans, though. For content purposes, Brick Baby just crashed out live on No Jumbo again for content. What he do? What he did? Bro. I know him and what's the call it was going at it from uh, Long Beach. Maybe what he they did? made that man lose his mind. That man bro. lost his mind. Bro, Brick Baby, that made that he man be lose cool. His, that man lost his scruples, bro. Hey, man. That we've been on for 30 minutes. Yeah. That ain't nothing. Yeah. Yeah, New York got some strict gun laws and everyone got hammered still. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Not much is going to change for me. Man, listen, I didn't have no fella used to have dirty guns on me. And the police ever stopped me, I got by me, I was gonna run. And you weren't gonna catch that gun on me, I promise you that. You might catch me, but you weren't gonna catch the gun on me. Yeah, you weren't gonna catch that gun on me. Yeah, and it's on Jefferson you, you, Highway you, you, had good prices on their guns. Yeah. I bought a Mac 90 from them. All black, but all my homeboys knew about that Mac 9 I bought from them. Skittles is a no-no now. What you mean, uh, Jamal? He said, nigga, do a little trail under the bus. R.I.P. Drayvon. Man. What I'm saying is, it's not going to be the same thing as Trayvon Martin if everybody got guns. You won't be able to do that. You ain't going to be able to do that. Trayvon Martin didn't have no gun. Because he'd have turned around and shot George Zimmerman. George Zimmerman's not no police. Think about yeah, this, I'm though. Skipping. Look at it like this, though. See, every time they try to put something against us, we always we always overcome the shit. Look at it like this here, though. You're going to have less, you're gonna have less people that are going to get gun charges, too. Because when they get to a certain age and they can't buy a gun, they're going to buy them. They're going to buy them bitches. So a lot of times they get caught with guns or get caught with a gun because they can't buy no gun because they're convicted felon already. Oh, man, we broke, man, we broke in the areas before, too. Yeah? Yeah. Way back in the day. Yeah, man. And it was, uh, was the place to go. Mm -hmm. They had everything. Tech nines in that bitch. And I want to say somebody robbed that mother, remember? Then they mm -hmm. robbed it. Yeah. Ellis got robbed and everything, robbed man. And everything. I don't think I know who that was. Benjamin yeah. Button, the shit branch already martial law. I, well, they told the Patriot Act, Patriot Act is where they can come into your house with no search warrant. They can detain you for no reason. They ain't got to explain it to you. They take you down. That's martial law in a nutshell. It's called a Patriot Act. So mm -hmm. it's already going down. We've been, oh, you talking about the wig wham. But say, I ain't going to lie to you, I'm going to be all the way real. So I used to like them bitches, whoa. I don't trust them no more. Oh, no, I don't, I don't trust them. The, the wiggles? Yeah, yeah, I don't trust them no more. Mm -mm. Man. I don't trust no pill that I can press up. No more. Was. That's it. Katrina, that was a wrap. Man, after Katrina, man. That's it. That's it. Mm -mm. Man, look. That's why you, look, why you think I'm always drinking water and buying water, bro? Yeah. You know? I buy bullets all the time. How often did someone get killed in the New in the mid-90s? Uh, the mid-90s? I was, I was in the New Not, Not so much like that in the New was getting killed like that. No, not every day. Not every day. Every other day, you might have it like twice, three times a week. Cutting what was going on. Somebody that gets shot, but not necessarily somebody that get killed. You know what I'm saying? Walmart spelled backwards in martial law. Not to me. It says Wal Larturum backwards. Uh, Jamal Crowley, if they were scared with tight gun laws, them cops are gonna be trigger happy, full of fifth. They always when they wasn't trigger happy, full of fifth. Exactly. Uh, Dirty Red said, if you out there doing something you're not supposed to do, you keep that pistol. Fuck them gun laws. Exactly. Yeah, that ain't go right there, Dirty Red. There ain't go. That's how, That's why I said it ain't going to be too much. Yeah, them bitches, them bitches a dollar right now. Nobody want no dollar ass. Uh-uh, I don't trust that. <laughs> Y'all think teachers should have guns just in case they got to defend the school? No. 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 Mm-mm. Because she can get old pop by a student or two. Hell no. Look at you now, pig. Now you bought the pork chop. What movie that come off, Shadon? I don't know. Oh, no. Queen Sheba said, uh, Constitutional carry is the Second Amendment. The right to bear arms. All I can do is stay ready. I'm a black woman. Life is living very special. Right. That's exactly. Right. That's, That's facts, right. though. That's, That's right. right, Queen. You yeah, right. right. Yeah. You right. It's going to be a war zone with them young. It's a war zone already. It's a war zone already. They already carrying them already. Where y'all at? Y'all yeah. sleep? See, that's another thing, too. You can't be walking around carrying no gun, smoking no blunt with pills in your pocket or your sack on you. See, that's what they won't catch you with, too. See, you comfortable trick, thinking that, okay, I can carry this bitch legally now, but now you got drugs in your pocket. And you understand what I'm saying? saying? That, that makes, makes it a felony. felony. You'll never be able to carry a gun again. So now you can't carry, so be careful about this shit, man. They're putting decisions in people that don't need to be made decisions yet. That's why. Mm -hmm. You did. 
It's sneaky shit. Sneaky shit, bro. It's sneaky. That's what they do. I told you, man, this enemy is very shrewd. They sneaky. Y'all like the video, man. We got 90 people in here and 25 likes, man. Come on, man. Maybe I need to refresh. Let me see. What we talking about here? B3 said definitely a lot of more people going to be getting killed for running up. Yep. Yeah. But see, this is the thing, though. But they got cameras everywhere. Yep. And if, and if, and really, if that gun is not registered or, 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 or illegally, you don't have that gun legally, it's the same thing as not having no fucking papers and no rights anyway. You know what I'm saying? Khalil P said, damn, so how can we defend schools better without armed teachers? Say, bro, let me ask you something. How many times has that happened in the black school where somebody running there and killed all the black students and shit in the black school? Think about it. Think about it. See? Even the ones that run into them white schools, man, that shit is programmed. They do that so they can take people's guns out their hand. You got to wake up, man. Yeah. So, bro, if you read the book we was telling y'all about, Be Behold a Pair of Horse, he said, and it's not a prophecy, bro, what he said was, the government is eventually going to put down gun laws to take the guns away from the citizens. But they're going to allow things to happen like school shootings to make them feel different about making those kind of laws. Right. He said that. And that's what happened. What's up, Didi? What's up, Jolanda? Yeah. What's up, what's up, Jolanda? What's up, Cuzzo? What's up, Didi? Didi? Out of Pappy said, my pa used to go to the Superdome sales and cop them expensive ass bangers. How you get robbed buying the gun? See, if you ain't got no bullets, nigga up on you, they got you. I'm broke. How them laws gonna carry over during Mardi Gras along the parade route? Benjamin oh, Button, I've been carrying mine for 10 years at the parade, so I, I, I really don't say, know. Say, bro, what I'm trying to tell you is, them young dudes, see us, we gonna think about that. Them young dudes in New Orleans do not give a fuck about, about no, no law, law. Nothing. About having no gun or not having, if they, gonna, if they get their hands on one, yeah. they gonna carry it anyway. Yeah. Anyway. They gonna carry it anyway. See, that's why I know it's a trick bag. Yeah. Them dudes ain't never cared about that. We didn't care about that. Put it like the this. The bad part about it, they ain't gonna know they say open carry too, right? Yeah, open and uh, concealed. So you gonna know who license? I mean, who who else, who got a legal gun versus the people gonna be hacking your ass yeah, up? They, they, that's what they, that's what they do to, uh, uh, illegal frisk again. They already doing illegal frisk. That's what we trying to explain to y'all. That's why they doing illegal frisk. Mm -hmm. And if you eighteen, I'm gonna say it to you again. I can see all them little niggas out there. Yeah, thinking they, they go, they go watch. Come on, man. You man, know, the law said you could be 18 with I that I got bitch. two of them on me. Yeah. That's how they going to be. They already be like that. They already, I be seeing them on, on, on their little Instagram and their little YouTube. Yeah. Man. They be riding in the car, heated up. Jalita said, them people said that, government slid that governor where everybody was out there in that Texas versus Saints game, shaking my head. Nah, bro. Man, I'm trying to tell you, none of them governors don't never work for us. We got to vote for somebody that got what we, what we want on the table. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Say, twins, y'all did an app when y'all had a green bulls hat on. They had one of my favorite ones that get my mind right every time. I don't remember which one it was, dog. I heard that with the Google people this year at Mardi Gras at the parade. They always arrest some people at yeah, Mardi Gras yeah, for guns yeah, at the parade, bro. Yeah, he said his son got arrested. Yeah. I got arrested at the parade with a gun one time. Yeah. Yeah. With people with the mouth. Khalil say, black schools don't have any problems. I understand it, but that's kind of surprising. True. True. We just started, Paul Lovely. We just started, man. You ain't missing that. We only been on 38 minutes. But what I'm saying is, what they did was they put that law to be very misleading. Mm -hmm. Like I said to you mothers, do not try to walk in the store with your son trying to buy a handgun for him and talking about some he can legally uh, conceal a weapon when when you're 18, you can only buy rifles. But right. you cannot have no handgun. You cannot buy no handgun at 18 years old unless somebody gifts it to you. Look it up. Why well, I can't fold, don't fall for banana tail. What I'm trying to tell him, Ruski. I'm trying to tell them, no, they want you to misinterpret that law. Mm -hmm. And they're making the bench when you go to jail. No good time, no parole. Do you know what that means? When we slam your ass, you about to sit down. You know what that means? You're in slavery forever. Because the penitentiary is slavery. Yeah. That means you're in that bitch forever. Think about it. That's how they're trying to bring slavery back. The New World Order and all that thing, I'm crazy. Man, that shit is real, man. And what it told her about the Patriot Act, the Patriot Act is where they can come to your house with no search warrant and detain you for no reason. Under the guise of terrorism. Hope these little dudes know how to strip, clean the hammers. I know I taught my little partners how to do it. Man, we used to do that shit blindfolded in the Marines. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We used to do that blindfolded. I got money on Tyson against the white boy. Who y'all like? I'm going to be real, dog. Tyson is a beast, but he don't forget, bro. Tyson is 57 years old, man. I don't even want to see that fight. He's almost 60, bro. I don't want to see that let's shit. Be, let's be realistic. I understand he's Mike Tyson. But he's 57. Man, when Tyson fought Roy Jones, he threw 13 punches the whole fight. 
The white dude is a lot younger and a lot stronger, but he got more stamina. So I don't even want to see that fight. I don't know. Tyson threw 13 punches when he fought Roy Jones, man. I'm still going with And that was 10 years ago. Mike, yeah, bro. bro. I like to bet on black, but goddamn, Tyson, you got, man, come on, I'm man. Mike anyway. Man, come on, dog. Look, Jermaine Ali saw to say, man, in 92, 93 in New Orleans, Elliot was slinging them, them kids like hot case. Everybody was riding hard back then. That's a fact. And you know what else too well? You know what else you want? Definitely the boys who's been in the night while hitting them trains backed up by the desire. Yep. Man, I swear on everything I love, man. Them dudes that come sell us guns. I mean, we get a, a, a gun for two bags of dope. Forty dollars at one time. Nah, man. So we can't bet because there will never be no winner. It'll always be a tie with these celebrity fights, bro. No, I don't want to bet, man. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. I never go against uh, uh Mike Tyson for nobody. I ain't gonna bet, but I'm, I'm going by Mike. Mike gonna land one on that white boy. Bing. Go man, ahead, I hope man. so. But do y'all not understand that like, Mike is 57 years old? Okay. Like three years from being 60? So? His white boy, what, 28, 29? What, he young. What's wrong with that? Shit, bro. Youth? Look at me. Yeah, but Rasheen, you not 57, whoop. I'm going to be like this at 57. All right, but your wind ain't going to say that. Your body ain't going to okay. say that in your mind. Dude, the way he said, man, you crazy. Tyson's here hard. All the way cardio now. And shit, all the things is one hit. Man, when Tyson fought Roy Jones, he, he threw 13 punches the whole time, man. Tyson, he ain't got it no more. <laughs> I'm sorry. All this fight's red. They might be. Uh, Queen Sheba said, can't be inebriated. Can't be someone who's been barred from carrying. You have to be aware of things sometimes. You have to think about what they're allowing you to have something. They've been denying you. Exactly. That's why I say they shrewd. There's a trick back. Don't fall for the okie doke. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say you can't fall for the okie doke. You can't fall for that. Is it that you ran through right, gentility? Really. Yeah. They ran through gentility too. The oh, same what? with the medical bud. They will get you because you That's smell like real? it, even if you got the card. Yeah. I, I've been to California. They don't fuck with you in California behind the weed. It said the fight rig. The white boy can wear headgear and his brother can tap into the fight. Man, Man I don't believe that. that. That's, why I, that's why I ain't better no more see that shit. That shit is a, is a, is a fiasco. It's a shit show. Dave Chabelle said, I, 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 I agree with the twins. That boy Mike Tyson is old. He don't have enough win to fight. He look good them little five minute little the five minute little things this show. We ducking and coming up and boom, 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 boom. Well, hold up. What if he just get that? That was Mike game. He ain't wear, he wasn't no five minute dude. Man, that was then. That, that was, was 30, 30, years, 30 ago. years ago, right? Man, they gonna knock Tyson, man. They gonna rock. They gonna hit Tyson, Tyson gonna pull down his leg. They gonna hit Tyson, Tyson gonna fight. Right down his leg, like, oh, oh. he gonna step back with them big yeah, ass. Yeah, yeah. Then a man boy fell don't forward. Let Boom. Yeah. Don't let the A fool people, bro. I'm telling I'm you. Telling you bro. Yeah. Okay. We gonna see though, huh? Yeah, yeah. My thing is a gun is a gun. They did that another way to make money. They know these kids get guns anyway. Yeah, they do. Yeah. That's facts, bro. He hit the train by shoot time. Facts. Yep. They did. But the same, but no, facts. Yep. Jawan for Ali Shorter said, I just got my gun rights back and refused to be out here extra wild like them youngest. Facts. 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 Yeah, bro. Which, which, I miss the days of real about everything is a circus now. Facts. Niggas said Tyson and Allen were for real. Man, Tyson gonna, work, have, a, gonna have a pep on after this fight, man. He Tyson gonna have the pins after this fight, man. Yeah. We love Mike, bro. We got I don't like no fucking Logan Paul. Nah, bro, don't give a fuck, fuck about Logan that Paul. Boy, man. I go, I'm, a, I'm a better on black regardless. I'm just saying, you, the I, man, I, don't, I don't wanna see him. I don't want to see Adrian Brown in no the ring. More. No more. Jones. Aurora Jones in the ring. No more. And I love all of them in their prime. Yeah, I love them, but I don't want to see you in the ring no more, bro. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's levels, dog. The oh, nigga man. 57, yeah, though. Jamal, the dude 57, no more. He not 35 and 28 no more. He 57. Tyson smoke a lot of weed, get drunk, snorted a lot of coke and all, all kind of shit. But you know that about Tyson, man. You got to pay attention to what he been doing since he ain't been boxing. Number smoking weed and drinking. And fucking and shit. Fucking and drinking and shit, man. Tyson was different. He was different. Matter of fact, who that was? No, the Golden Floyd Mayweather, brother. He said, why y'all going against a black man, Kareem? I just said I bet on black by the time. Yeah. I'm a root for him, yeah. but I'm realistic too. You I'm realistic. It. I run miles, Jamal. I'm an old head. I run speaking miles. Of Mike, speaking of Mike, um, who that is? Pure, clean, and fresh acts if, uh, was out there when they tried to uh, snatch Snoop. That actual night, we were smoking with Mike. No in, shit. In that place, yeah, that same night. Mike Tyson in the bathroom, they had a big ass bathroom, like about big as your living room, like this here, and all that's in that bitch smoking. Mike 
Soldier Slim smoking with Mike and slimming that bitch like, nigga, I'm in that bitch smoking with Mike, Mike Tyson. Tyson. He yeah. couldn't believe it. That's how Slim was. Yeah, bro. yeah. You heard me? Yeah. That's funny he asked that on this conversation. That boy be on that mushroom too. Yeah, John, look. We love Mike Tyson. Everybody used to love to watch him fight. But I got good comments. I'm not stupid. I'm not a child. I understand that 57 years old. See, bro, after 10 minutes in the ring, under them lights. That boy gonna be tired of the That boy gonna be tired of all that weed smoking and drinking and fucking he be doing. That boy, he, he, man, listen. He just want that bag. I remember Roy was thinking in the city like 2002, 2003. Boy, Roy Jones was the dude, dog. Yeah, man. We used to go What's up, there and ride four wheelers by Roy Jones. Roy yeah. Jones had a house in the east, too, didn't he? Didn't he have a house he in the east? That is Slide L or something, uh, Pearl uh, River? No, Pensacola. Man. Pensacola. Mm -hmm. But he was down there heavy messing with people, dog. Got 81 acres out there. That boy had like 100 pits around this house. All them chickens and shit. Yeah, chickens, bro. yeah, everything that can fight. Mm -hmm. Niggas say Mike just want that bag. Man, who we do get the bag? I don't never knock it. I never go against Mike Tyson. I'm just being realistic. I know 57 years old. I don't care what a nigga look like. Let me hit that. I don't care what a nigga look like. 57 years old, bro. Boy. Ron Jones, a basketball player, a rapper, and a boxer. Yeah. Y'all gonna be surprised. Mike held back on John because of, because of the weight difference. He ain't gonna hold back on that white boy disrespecting that crap. Okay. We gonna remember these words, bro. I love Mike. Tyson still fast as hell in that punching bag at almost 60. He better put it out to work on JP. Better. We gonna see. Yeah. I just don't believe it. We to my nigga, a man that's 57 years old, bro. I know how I know how shit work, bro. Man, I know man, how man. shit works. I mean, I want to be real about this. I want to be real about this shit, but George goddamn. Foreman got in the ring and got in hell and been a little while till he got beat up. Yeah, he hasn't been for a little while, man. Man, Tyson be fucking and smoking too much, man. Hey, that's the only reason why, bro. They reported Can Canelo Alvarez ducking Terrence Crawford. I hate for that to be true, dog, because I got a lot of respect for Canelo Alvarez, bro. Man, he better duck Bud. That's my Bud favorite my fighter. Dude. Yeah, Bud my dude. That's my favorite fighter right now. Canelo? No, Bud. Bud. Terrence Crawford. But we give him, him and Tank. I like him and Tank. But we giving Canelo his props. Dude. Canelo is a, is, a, is a very skilled, powerful Bro. fighter, though. You, you can't fight, uh, Bud. Jay say, not your average fifty-seven year old. That's Mike Tyson. Say, bro, I understand he's not your average fifty-seven year old. Year, year older, man. But ever guess since, what? Ever since Robert Gibbons sat on his face, he ain't been the same. Yeah, he ain't been the same, bro. Let's be really say, bro. Father Time is better than all these fighters we talking about. Father Time better than all these niggas. Y'all want to y'all romanticize it because Tyson black, but y'all romanticize it with the common sense of all the time knocked all these niggas on the ass. Robert Gibbons ruined Mike, man. Yeah, he wasn't the same no way after that. No, man. you you absolutely right. Yeah. nobody won't get hit by Mike Tyson. Exactly, exactly, okay. man. But dog, he only got so many of the bitches he can throw with the same velocity and power. Beat, he gonna beat the piss out Mike Tyson. He only got so many he can throw at 57 years old that got the same velocity and power and man, the same intention. Boxing is a, is a lifelong thing, man. Okay. You be seeing that. 57 is not old. We talking about in the ring. Saw that boxing dude, is old. When you saw that dude knock out Kimbo Slice with that little bit ass punch, you was like, that was fake, right? Man, nah, that shit wasn't Kimbo. fake. No, it wasn't All right, something fight, like man. that to knock your ass out. He been a boxer his whole life. His lungs different from ours. Say, but listen, a boxer is just somebody that's conditioned. I run exactly. miles every day, but I so, smoke weed. But then what you think he can't stop and get in condition? Yeah, but for so, all the time. So hold up. So nigga, when that nigga knock, when that nigga knock Mike time, Tyson out, what y'all gonna say then? You can knock Tyson out. Why he knock him out? Because he knocked him out. Because he old and smoke weed and smoke coke and Mike gonna tell you. Mike gonna get up there and say, man, I'm too old for this shit, man. Ever since I'm Robert Gibbons said on his face, it's been over with. Mm -hmm. That's what he gonna Other say. than that, he all right. I love Mike Tyson, bro. I love Mike Tyson. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Mike Tyson was like right. one of the most dominant boxers of our time, bro. Yeah, of my time. Yeah. Bro. Roy Jones was another one. Uh, Shit, Larry Holmes. Man, Jake Paul not good enough, but man. All those niggas fought in that, in that, in that, almost that age. Only George for oh, over 50, huh? Y'all must have never heard of Bernard Hopkins. Age of nothing. Tyson is in better shape than you, than you, than you, shit. Did you see what happened to uh, Bernard <laughs> Hopkins, boy? You see, you see how, how he is now? You see what happened to Bernard Hopkins? Man, come that on. That man, man got Tourette's, man. Yeah. You talking about, boy? Tyson ain't never been knocked out. You must have seen him fight Buster Douglas. Shit, Tyson. Shit, oh, what's his name? Knocked him out, too. Uh, 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 uh. He bit the nigga ill. What's his uh, name? Holyfield knocked him out. Man, 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 come Twice. on, man. Stop playing, man. Come Twice. on, man. Stop it. No, hold up. Let me, let me get something understood. Tyson ain't much y'all dudes era, though. That's really my era. Corey Patrick said, Rock, were you the dude from the TC that got knocked out for not helping Juvie? Rock not from the TC. 
Mm-mm. We ain't on the cool. We on the front. Tyler Donna on the front. Yeah. What it do? I'm coming in late, but we still great. We don't have to motivate. Yeah, man. Let us lose. Destroy Mike. Mike. He did, bro. I hit that. I hit that. I hate him to watch that. But think about it, man. We bought Mike Tyson punch out. Yeah. We had to get the cheat code to beat Tyson. So I'm a Tyson fan. Yeah. I'm just being, being realistic. Yeah. I'm being realistic, man. I don't see Tyson going there and fighting that white dude knocking him out. a victory for their whole race, man. They're going to be like, oh, yeah, he kicked Tyson's ass, dude. Man, listen. What you forget, y'all keep forgetting that this dude is younger. He has wind and stamina. Even if you don't have the technique that Tyson have. Holyfield the greatest. Don't compare Jake to the Holy man. Let me have some of that you smoking to my you the greatest. He the greatest. How? Holy Holyfield was. He, he, he ain't the greatest. Nah. Nah, he ain't the greatest. Floyd Mayweather the greatest fighter of the my time. The one that's undefeated is the greatest to me. I got to give props where you. You got to like him as a person even though he say stupid shit. Joe Farmer beat uh, Holyfield. Yeah. On his comeback. My nigga punish Holyfield. Yeah. Kimball died from a heart attack. Huh, yeah, bro? he died from a heart attack. Ali is the greatest. How? Boy, how? Ali is the greatest. Man, you see Lord Mayweather's the greatest boxer of all time. You know why? He never lost. Period. If you never lose, you can't tell me nothing about nobody being great. You gotta have the, yeah, the cold gusto to beat Tyson, dog. He's in Muhammad or Holy Family. He's in Muhammad, Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali. He revolutionized boxing. Facts. He revolution. I gotta give it to Muhammad Ali, but Holyfield one of the greatest too, though. Can't take nothing from him, dude. Holyfield was the one that really convincingly beat Mike over and over, dog. Uh, John Nickerson said, I really think Mike just won a bag. Mike won a bag? Yeah. Mike don't need no money. <laughs> Mike don't need no money. Flo was in the era of picking and shoes. Boxing Mike always been picking and shoes. Mike in one of the biggest games in the world, man. Neither did Rocky Marciano. He beat Joe Lewis's ass. You say Flo was in the era of picking and choosing? Well, Flo was in the era so long to where he couldn't, he couldn't just pick and choose. He had to fight whoever, whoever wanted to challenge him. He, he faced most. Number one contenders in any other boxing in history, dog. Queen Sheba said, I love Mike, but he's been smoking and doing mushrooms. He can't figure it out a paper bag. I'm, so they see, you know what they did, sister? They seen that video we had on them little tight ass motherfucking drawers and them boots and that tank top, and he fighting, he's sparring against the dude, and moving his head, and boom, 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 boom. He's swinging fast. <laughs> they seen all that shit, right? But that's a whole different story when you're 57 year old, your old ass get in that room and all them drugs start coming out your pole from them fucking lights. You ever heard of Pernell Whitaker? Who ever heard of Pernell Sweet Pea Sweet Whitaker, P. man? Yes. Who you playing with, man? Yes. 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 <laughs> nigga, hands are fast, fast, fast. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What's up? You wipe your feet when you come in here, your phone gets fed. Andre Ward never lost. Somebody put him to sleep, too. He was, too, but he ain't never crazy. lost. He said, nigga, oh, Andre Ward did lose. Hey, he said, boy, go ahead, turn to about them little ass draws. They did. I draw it all in his booty, them black ass boots on, sweating. Looking like a cocky punk, but punching the fuck out that uh them uh them hand mitts. Bum 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 bum. Let me just smacking all throughout the whole gym. What's up, little beat it? What's up, beat it? Watch you go find out. Yeah, Pernell Sweet Who? How you think we'll know about him? Man, stop it, man. Yeah, Floyd got the pick and shoes after thirty two and no. And they say he wasn't a knockout of, when he was the first his first twenty five fights. A twenty six fight he knocked out twenty two motherfuckers. So he was a knockout too. Listen, he got you know we ain't got like his attitude or nothing. He the, he the best of his craft. Yeah. Period. Yeah. Nobody could beat him. Mm hmm. Whether, whether people like it or not. They said they got a uh, lengthy article on the only guy to beat Floyd Mayweather at the Junior Olympics a few years back. He back in Moscow in poverty. Eating out a trash can. Wow. He need to be. There's not that many heavyweight fighters anymore. Hi, Rod. I ain't going to lie, bro. I'm I don't a watch boxing. I don't like watch heavyweight boxing, bro. Me either. I don't watch Ever since the Crisco's head, I'm like, man, I ain't watching these stupid, long, lanky, flat-ass dudes. Bro, uh, uh, what's that other one named? Beat up on um, that other dude. What's his name? Tyson Fury. That nigga look like a motherfucking mafia hitman. That nigga sloppy. Oh, man. Gangly and shit. When did Louisiana change the Tyler Dono and the Noya? It never changed. It never changed. It didn't change. It didn't change. We lived at 2719 Tyler Dono. Louisiana is Louisiana. And change, look, no ass can change by that split right there. Right on Clara. The Louisiana is Louisiana, period. Right there where Brown Derby was. That was Louisiana already. Yeah. Right. Flint Goodrich. I'm saying, it turned to, it turned to Tyler Donald. State, Cyclone said Florida ain't fight yeah. nobody. Tyler Donald go all the way to that red light. Yeah. He didn't fight he didn't Canelo? Didn't what, that is, what street that is? Florida's the best defensive oh, fight ever. Exactly, Ted Hill. The Raiders fighters said they couldn't beat him. Not a cocky punk. That's why Mike Tyson, right. look at this Liberty ass draws on. Call me crazy, but I think Zab beat Floyd. He just kept losing points. Yeah, hitting him below the belt. 
Queen Sheba said, my grandmother used to literally take bets and had her own lottery. For almost 40 years, she hustled and had a job. I remember one time she used to do a TKO in three rounds. Shit. First round a lot of times. Mm -hmm. They were the Reds. Zab didn't beat him, dog. He it's rude to fight him. He didn't beat him. Now, I like the Zab, but Zab just didn't have no chin. Y'all seen when uh, Cedric and Tina had that video with Zab to get knocked out? Man. Don't ever play with matches. Niggas ain't Floyd ain't fighting nobody. Come on, man. No, Floyd fought a, Floyd fought Canelo. Canelo, Sugar Shane. He fought uh 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 all the top contenders. He fought everybody, man. bro. Who who didn't he fight? He fought the Golden Boy, Oscar De La Hoya. Yeah, Oscar De La Hoya. He fought everybody. He fought them all. Hey. Pretty much, yeah. I always got that confused shit. Zab didn't have a gas tank. That and he didn't really have a chin. But for his skills, man, oh. Zab had speed. Zab, Zab. Yeah, footwork. Man. Yeah, Zab. I'm a fan of Zab Judah, bro. I ain't gonna front on him like that, Nelson. Whoever felt like Floyd ain't never fought nobody. Don't know shit about the, the way Floyd fought. But that's boxing. He a boxer. Yeah, the thing is, not, not get hit. He, yeah. He, he, he yeah, the thing is, not get hit and hit your opponent. Yeah, that's the thing. That's what you're supposed to now, do. Now, you said Floyd wasn't hit nobody. You're fucking lying. Yeah. But he didn't like to get hit. Yeah, man. Oh, there's a girl named Gabriel Lovewig, right? Well, it's not a girl. There's a transmission. You did. He made a college basketball team in Santa Clara Community College. He fired Wait, 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 wait. A dude made a girl's basketball team. He identifies as a woman. He started identifying a woman that's at 40 years old. He's 50 now. Oh, so he's a transmission. He's a transmission. Okay. He's, he's six, eight. And 220 pounds. Oh, yeah, I saw him. And he played on the girls' basketball team in uh, Santa Clara, bro. You know they banning that. Well, they need to ban that. This man a grown man. Muscles, that boy's in the name. That boy got they tattoos and everything. Uh, on the bench, flapping with fingernail polish and on the big old muscles and tattoos. Check it out the Olympics. Oh, you stinking shit, snake, yeah, booty, jack, strap, wearing ass, ass nigga with these fucking shit. Say, bro, I love, I love uh, people, but I hate the world we live in. I hate the shit that's. Man, this shit is bananas to me, dog. It's crazy, son. It's oh, crazy. Man, man, man. Oh man. Rock, who had the most hands? PSC. <laughs> C. He said C had the hands. Yeah, C. Pretty boy had to stay quiet to get his face messed up. Man, he had the best defense ever. Floyd mastered the game of boxing. Name name of the game and not to get hit and win the fight. You right, bro. He said, man, that's Juwanda, 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 man. Y'all late. Now this is real life. Oh, this is real life around him, man. This recently, this ain't late. <laughs> Floyd beat Canelo twice, beat Madonna twice, Berto, Zab Judah, Ricky Hatton, Oscar De La Hoya, Shane Mosley, uh, 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 Benavidez. He beat a lot of them, dog. He said, how y'all rather when Buster beat Mike? Man, I lost. I, I was mad, bro. I finally beat my partner when uh, Mike lost that fight. Yeah, but I'll never forget that. We watched it in our living room. I'm like, who the fuck is a Buster we Douglas? Was, we was mad at, uh, at Robert Gibbons. We thought Robert Gibbons was the reason for that. Yeah, we, 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 we were mad at Robert Gibbons. Oh, yeah. Tyson Lowe's? He was because he ain't trained. Yeah, he ain't trained. He was getting ate up too much. He wasn't but, focused. But busting too many nuts. Or they something. played Mike. Yeah, because he really knocked him out. Those yeah. fights then, it was yep. no um saved by the bell. Yep. So that was ten. Yep. How y'all rap with? That's how we ragged it. We busted beat Mike. We felt like we're about to get this fight. Rewind that shit every time. Yeah, man. One. We counted ourselves. Ten man, like this bitch cheated Mike. Yeah, yeah, cheated Mike. Cheated. Oh, he got that damn motherfucker. Man, oh, man. he gone down. Yeah, <laughs> it's over with. We so used to that shit. <laughs> Nigga, Mike, 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 so Mike mouthpiece way over there. He like, done got oh, that knock. Man, Ooh. put that bitch in that bitch oh, sideways. Man, we were mad. <laughs> Trying to get him like, oh, oh man, look like he boy, just came. My grandmother. Mom, my grandmother, boy, she was mad than a motherfucker. I was mad too, boy. We all Mike fans, oh. boy. Without any distractions and shit, Mike would have been undefeated. That's what I say too. Yeah, he if he have stayed focused, he would have been undefeated, dog. Niggas, they were mad at Robert Gibb. We was, dog. Queen Sheba say, I'm sorry. Just because you say you're a woman doesn't mean you're a woman. If you haven't experienced womanhood, you're not a woman. You're a pretender playing dress up. I don't have to agree with you. Exactly. I agree with you on that. See, we can't tell that because yeah. I strike our pay. Yeah. You can, though. Yeah. We can't. Buster Douglas TKO my uncle with that same left hook. I done, yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> Let me catch myself. Flora said he had problems fighting a guy, Emmanuel Augustus. They called him the drunken master. I seen him. I seen uh, Emmanuel Augustus, drunken master. That boy, like he about to lean and come up and straight down the shit out you. Bam! Like, oh, this bitch that hit me. Like I ain't gonna lie, dog. Ford was cold, dog. Yeah. You can take what you want yeah. to say about him. He cocked him like his attitude. Fuck it. Yeah. Y'all seen that situation Boy, with Aiden and Sick? He beat all the he beat the best. De La Hoya, Zab, Judah, Mosley, 
uh, Arturo Gotti, Antonio Vargas, Manny Pacquiao, Madonna. They tripping Floyd for and beat the best. That's what I say, Skrilla, too. You ain't got to like his attitude. You ain't got to like him personally. When it comes to that ring and fighting, he made it look easy. And guess what? He was a dog. In Don't Texas, every time they fight a Mexican, they turn into a racial thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. They didn't want the Mexican to beat the nigga ass. Yep. They so, have big old parties at their house every time. Every time. That's why he come out with the Mexican hat in the in the in the in the come out trolling yeah. the bitches all trolling. the time. Yeah. That's why I roll with Floyd. Floyd yeah. is the greatest of all time. Yeah. But look, the, the 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 record proves it. The record is in my favor. Robert Gibbons put them feathers in his go go or something. Probably. I like holding for him, Raw Jones. Yeah, I like, I'm a big Raw Jones fan too, Wolf. Yeah, I ain't gonna front I'm a Raw Jones Jamal. Fan. I fuck with Raw. Holyfield was too, too much of a holy Christian man for me. Tyson start going down because the model died, bro. Facts. Only person you can say that B. Floyd was Jose Luis Castillo. No. All right, it's shot time, y'all. Y'all put y'all ones in the chat. Y'all take a shot with us. Prime man. Mike versus Prime Floyd. Yeah, I got my side. I had to say prime yeah, floor because Floyd never lost. Hurts. I live by about the time of her. He's always at my aunt's bar doing the old head shuffle. He's a nice guy. He's always in Baltimore, especially when it's his birthday party. He's a real fighter, though. Time of her was a G. Yeah. Put y'all words in the chat, man. They said never say that transmission nonsense is on Long Island. The executive banned transmission from playing in women's sports and NYC officials banned it too. Good. They Good. need to, man. Yeah, 50 and no, you can't knock that. Come on, man. Damn right, Roy. And then Roy Jones was one of the best in his prime. I absolutely agree. Yeah, call know. in. Marvin, you going to answer it? Yeah, call, call in. Call in. You good? Yeah, call in. I'm, I'm conservative and these new laws are insane. See, we, but we saying, this is what we saying, bro. This new law is put out to confuse people. I guarantee you, 18 year olds going to be walking inside the gun store with their mama and they're going to get turned around. Mm-hmm. Not knowing the law fully. Not knowing the law fully. Or, or getting the gun because it's legal and got papers on it and think that they can carry a handgun because they're 18. They don't work like that. Yeah, you know why you know why you think these laws are insane? You saying you're a conservative? You ain't no real conservative, though. You understand? If you want a conservative, not what they want a conservative. If you're the conservative, then you'll be with the with the uh, first with uh, with the uh with the second amendment, you gotta write the bell homes. What's up, Hatch? What's up, Hatch? You hear me? That's that's the part of that's the law. You have a right to bear arms. Three times for the third over here, man. We need some more ones, man. We need some more ones before we take this shot, man. Give me four more ones. Please. No, we cracked the bamboo almost gone, Ma. Look. Huh, bro? We almost killed that bitch. Yeah, we almost killed that. That bamboo tastes good, dude. Yeah, we fucked that up. Yeah. Okay, that's one more. We need two more. That's yeah. one more. Just Troy. What's up, Troy? We need to put one more one on the chest. We take this shot, bro. Dirty Red. What you doing? Just um, drinking on Dirty Red? 912 Pew. You in the building? One time, look, we go to taking them shots. We get people in the building. That's enough. That's enough. Yeah, Come three times for the third over here. Uh, As if I ever needed a reason. I'm, bro. I'm from New Orleans. Of course. Y'all seen the trigger leg, hut leg, nigga, the, her house burned down. Y'all seen that? No. What happened? Her house burned down. Nigga, what you mean? I just told you. Mm. Who did it? They say her husband did it. That's what I'm getting to. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, but look. Here go the thing. But here go the thing. Before, listen. Look, I'm going to make you laugh, bitch. Hold on. He out in the queue with burning his other. His wait, 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 wait. Before stop, that. Stop, stop. You, you, you talk too fast. Okay, go ahead. Right. He was what? He was accused of burning down his other ex wife house. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. You talking about. You talking about. Turn, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He was accused of burning down his other. This nigga burned down the whole burned house. Off. Oh. Yeah, he burned that office, dude. Yeah, he burned that office. That nigga wild, dog. See, he don't give a fuck. That nigga don't give a the fuck. The way he talk, I don't give a goddamn what they goddamn say. He walk around a big old body. Yeah, he just drunk not, all the time. Not only that, he burned 50 15. He burned that down, too. Yeah, because here he was in partnership with the old boy. He fell through. Yeah. He burned 50 15. Your Mr. boy got the ball across the Mr. J Bone asked a good question. I totally support the Second Amendment. I don't think 18 year olds should have a concealed weapon, especially with no training. They cannot have a concealed handgun. They cannot e even legally buy a concealed hand. They can't even buy a handgun at 18 years old. Right. That's why they're trying to throw that. That's why we're making this post because they're throwing that out there to confuse the masses with this with this fucking bill. And there's bro. all kind of ways they're gonna get them because they they need the training. See, they don't want them to be trained. Right. See, they're gonna ride in their car mm -hmm. with it on their lap. Yeah. Boop, boop. You're going to jail. Going, and guess what? 
No you gotta hold. have it in a gun, in, yep. in, a, in a glove, unloaded. Yeah, you gotta know the laws. You gotta know the law. You yep. can't just have that big thing. You gotta out. know where you can walk. Yeah. You can't go in Walmart with that hoe. So we gonna start. We gonna start making sure that the laws are perfectly understood. And ain't no lines gonna be blurred if our young men gonna be allowed to carry a gun. It's a trap, cyclone. Appreciate that, Vaughn Reed, man. Thank you, brother. See that super chat back on, man. I'm so I glad, bro. That. Yeah. Yeah, our, our super chat was off. We were demonetized. We weren't making money for the last two, three months. We just on here grinding, y'all. So we back. Yeah, hit that up. cash out, man. Think twice, podcast. Twice with the two, man. You did. What up, Vaughn? What's up, Vaughn? We talking about we talking about the trick bag. They trying to put our people in. Yeah, you understand? Yeah, it's a trick bag. You know. Now Roy Jones is also great, and he was ducking Tarver. Oh, that one hurt me. Well, Tarver beat him up, whoa. Yeah, Tarver got him good. So, so once Tarver beat him up, Tarver was the man. You gotta give him his props, bro. Yeah, he, he was. The, well, look, Roy had his run. Yeah, Roy was done once. Tarver. Now, I seen Roy knock a nigga out with three love hooks one time. Yep. Book, yep. book, Roy book. Jones to play a basketball game. Three love hooks in the daytime and go have a fight at night. Yeah. He was conditioned, yeah, bro. Man, Shout bro. out to that boy, man. Shout out yeah, to that boy, man. Boy. Thank you, Queen yeah. Sheba. Thank you, Queen Sheba. Hey, y'all hit that cash out, man. Think twice, podcast. Twice with the two. You did. Uh, all right, y'all know that Trump said that he he offended, supposed to be offending black people because Trump said that uh, black people like him because he got a mug shot. Oh, and he got a expensive pair of tennis shoes and all that stuff. Nah, that's what people are saying about Trump. No, he Trump. really did say that. But does no. it matter? Who? Trump. What? what I'm saying is when it comes to say that about his tennis shoes. When it comes to Trump and Biden, bro, let me be real with y'all. When it come to Trump and Biden, bro, both of them is racist, redneck, peck of woods. I don't give a damn about that. One of them dudes. They don't care about but us either. They don't care about us either. For black folks. But economically and policy-wise, Trump was a better he president for black people than Biden was. He a businessman. He, business he ran man. the country like so a business. He, and black people, that's, that's what it is. is. It's a corporation. So yeah, he ran like a business. Yeah. All the deals he did with, his, with the tariff and all that kind of shit, that's business deals. Man. Yeah. He was about to, he definitely about to have them people suffer. For the get our business, man. You look, you gonna have to pay draft. Yeah, basically. Yeah, you uh, gonna sell over here? Pay me. Yeah. So, so <laughs> we not, we not, we not having no competition on who the most racist. Both of them dirty dogs and low down racist, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? They both low down rotten, low down dogs. Yeah, they both racist, low down dogs. You know what I'm they saying? They both supremacists. Let's get it. So let's just not get it confused. We talking about these two. Let's talk about the policy that's in place for black people when we talking about Trump and Biden. Before Biden was even the president, he was intent on locking niggas up and slamming their motherfucking In the Camilla Harris. In the Camilla Harris. And that's, still, that's a long-term thing. Yeah, long, he's been, long. all his life he's been doing that. Man, listen, man. That, 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 that's what Jamal said. Trump just up front. I read that motherfucker be straight up. That's what I've been saying when he got president, when he won the first time, I was like, I'd rather know faith. Face to face with the racist. Me Hold up, Antonio. He said nobody was saying Trump was racist until he ran for president. All the rappers used to mention Trump. We knew he was racist. That's not true. Because he was cool with David Duke way back in New Orleans. We've That's been not knew. true. That's We've not been knew. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. We knew he was racist. Hold up. We knew he was racist. Trump got sued for, that, for, for telling his people not to let black people run out in the Trump Towers. Yeah. He, he got lost sued. that lawsuit. He lost that lawsuit. So yeah. we knew he we knew telling, he was racist. His, telling, his, telling his employees, do not allow black tenants to come in my, in my building, the Trump Towers. What's up, so, Trey Hall? We've been doing with racists. Yeah. So. Man, listen, nobody ain't racist except for black people. Just understand that. Yeah. Nobody in the world is racist except for black people. Y'all know the motherfuckers that want to sing Kumbaya and love everybody. And I'm going to tell you niggas something else while y'all alone here. The fact that Trump not in jail and is running for president again, what that lets y'all know? To me, that means this man is already going but going to be president again. Well, my, thing, they, that my thing is, they all ever... <laughs> God bless the truth, boy. Excuse me. But everybody want to bash Trump and show all his flaws and all, but don't just miss Biden like yeah Biden like Biden ain't like he's shit. better one. That's why they give you these shit. You know man. you know you know how I be sitting over when I see people vote for Biden. I see a picture of Biden hitting in the head with a with a nugget. That's yeah. my nigga. That's my nigga. <laughs> that's, that's you my voted nigga. for me. Yeah. You voted for me. Yeah, that's my nigga. You voted for me. Come here, nigga. Yep. Yeah. All right, that's my nigga. Yeah. That's how I see it when I see you know. See, what we saying about why they give you these kind of candidates. What we saying about Biden is niggas don't even remember that Biden been intent on locking niggas up three strikes long enough. He was pushing that hard. Him and Camilla. Then they use Congress to be trying to trick you too. Like they going against each other and shit. That yeah, would have to say, I don't know about anybody else, but I always eat better when Republicans get the camouflage while the Senate passing these goddamn laws on y'all ass. See what I'm saying? So that's what it be all about. Man, this y'all understand. That's why I be like, I ain't vote for nothing now, one of them bitches, because guess what? None of them has our best interests at hand for us. 
as a people. Even we got all that money from Trump. Guess where it went right back to? To them. It he, made them rich. No. That's why he let it go like that. He let it go like, okay, we agree to a couple of niggas' hands and give them some PPPs and SBAs and uh, uh, unemployment and stimulus money. We're going to get all that shit right back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and then they got people off try to blame. Oh, no, they did that because uh, they had a pandemic. Hey, oh, man. Man, that set that. That was the setup. Yeah, now it's not what they said. If you vote, if you don't vote for me, then you're not black. That was that was the come on man, right there. come on yeah, man. Yeah, that that now that's more racist than what whatever thing anything Trump yeah, said. Yeah, not really. black. Yeah, they playing on y'all. Playing on y'all. Playing on y'all. Sweet P. Whitaker was a dog. This in the is race. how you gonna he get was. what you want. When you sit there and say I don't want him, all of them, neither one of them. Look, Antonio said I'd rather have an honest enemy than a lying friend. Facts. Tell me an ugly lie to them before you tell me a pretty. I mean, a black tell me an ugly truth for a pretty lie. That's mm -hmm. the most important one, the black one. Yeah. Even though they know who they gonna put in there already, they still won't see that black vote turn out. Yeah. That's why they don't care about them no more. That's why you don't see the celebrities out here on the on TV talking about go vote all day. You see, you can run that bag. Grab the blue. vote and all that kind of shit. Kind of entrepreneur with the businessman in office. Especially Wait, in say that again, Kareem, start over. You can run that bag up as a blue-collar entrepreneur with the businessman in office, especially in Texas. You can. Right. So what do y'all think when Obama was in office? What right? did y'all think when Obama was in office? all the same. Stack Money so said, what do y'all think when Obama was in office? We know that all same presidents thing. are figureheads. They don't really call shots on their own. That's facts. You dig? Look, y'all gotta understand, man. This is a corporation, so you they gonna go to work for the when corporation. You go to work, they got an agenda for you. Right. They got a protocol. They got a protocol. They got, protocol. They got corporate. They got corporate that tell you what to do. Exactly. Like, this is our goal. I don't care if you're the CEO. They got corporate. Our goal is to uphold the Constitution, and we gonna run this country <laughs> like this here. Blah blah yeah. blah. Do this. Yeah. Oh, oh. this one now. Oh, you gonna change it? Yeah. Let me show you John F. Kennedy. Yeah, yeah, they will, wow. They will assassinate you. That's right. right. Yeah, as soon as you want to say it, yeah. They will assassinate you. Yeah. Say, Mr. J. Bond, I'm not voting at all, bro. I vote on a local level because that's we can hold we can hold people on a local level accountable. That's but right. see, that, that international level, man, that's a whole sham, that's bro. A whole sham. That's a sham, dog. We got to stop entertaining that bullshit that they, they think we doing, man. That's they got to pay the play. Bible couldn't do nothing. People be like, why wow, he was black president? He did nothing for black people. No. Nah. He had to do it for who they say he do it for. He look before he got elected, they gave him about five or six big ass stacks of books. books. You got to agree with this, mm -hmm. this, this. You, okay, you cool with that? Okay, you a certain age. How long you been a citizen? All that shit. Yeah. Now you can be president. You agree with all this right here, right? Right here. Go ahead. Now Go see, ahead. look at these, look at these niggas. They ran like scarlet dogs. As soon as we, talk, we start talking about they, yeah. this a uh, messiah. Yeah. As soon as we start talking about your messiah, a uh, 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 Barack Obama, you're running up out of here because you don't want to hear the truth. That's the problem with black people. They don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to hear a comfortable lies. They want to be consoled with lies. That's why Pastor Pigfoot entertain you every Sunday in the church. They teach you anything you believe it. They tell you you're not asking you everything else you, with no proof, and you believe it. You understand? I just want to see people reaction when they Trump win. Man, look. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to tell y'all with the truth, man. Well, look, when I first seen Trump running for president, the first time he ran, I'm like, man, this shit a joke. They about to let this, this crazy motherfucker be the president? And then I seen that he won the election. He won the, uh, the Republican. Republican. No, he won a Republican yeah, ballot. Six conviction. I mean, six, six of them things. I'm talking about the first time before he was convicted of any crime. When he won the, the ticket to run on the Republican ballot, I knew the fix was on right then and there. And then what's his name conceded? Sure. He conceded the part of the yeah. Trump. I'm like, oh man. Oh, the man. fix is on. Yeah. The fix is on. The government is the mob. Straight up, running number was legal. The lottery gambling was legal, not DraftKings, etc. Of course. Yes. Of course. Man, let me tell yes. you something. Peep game. They'll lock me up for something crack on the corner. But nigga, Walmart got Xanax. I mean, Walgreens got Xanax. They got CBS, drinking that bitch. CVS got syrup. CVS got fucking uh, Valiums and Percocets and yeah. Lean and all that. No. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They sell it over the counter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Legally. People want to be consoled with lies, bro. They don't want the truth. Come on, man. Yeah, big guy. They'd rather have a beautiful lie than the ugly truth. Man, yeah. give me the ugly truth. Facts. Tell me the ugly truth. Why this deal going to be rich? They don't matter who president. You right, Vaughn? It's, that's why I, I, I was telling my friend today, Miss Lee, but I was telling him, I was like, look, man, in a little while, this shit ain't going to be about race no more. It's going to be about... It gonna be, it's, 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 I really like that. About, no. Not race, it's about... It's going to be about the haves yeah. and the have-nots. Yeah. Because to a rich, rich white person, a poor white person, them is still a nigga. It's a nigga, bro. That's right. Look, check this out. No more middle class. At all. Man. Uptown yeah. 504 said they also have licensed pharmacists, CVS, 
Yeah, they licensed pharmacies, but them motherfuckers got all the drugs inside. They, they selling drugs legally. They still selling drugs. Yeah. People still ODing and shit off of shit they buy at the CVS and shit, man. Boys say Dirty Red say the Dirty Red say, what's the difference between porno and prostituting? Nothing. Porno right. just legal because they get money off it. Well, prostitution is legal in some places. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, it, see, either the elite versus the mass. It won't be the elite because elite ain't number like one or two percent. Yeah, it's gonna be the haves against the have nots. Because mm -hmm. guess what? It's to the point not to understand that, like me myself, right? I'm down for my race. I'm down. I'm, I'm down. Black power, black liberation, and all that, right? But they don't mean I hate white people or I hate Mexicans. You understand what I'm saying? I'm for who the fuck is right. I don't give a fuck if you're purple. Who for doing the right thing? You know what I'm saying? I'm for, I'm for who just because you black don't mean you 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 down for what's right. Some niggas sell their mom out for $100. Man, you, Ain't you, no president you're, you're, ever you're, came and said they're going to tax the rich. Never. 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 They ain't going to do that. They're going to they gonna raise them taxes only. They're not going to do that. Republicans and Democrats work on the same motherfucking team, brother. The Democrats figure out how to steal money from the poor, and the Republicans figure out how to steal money from the rich. That's right. And then when they steal the money, they bust it up amongst right. themselves. They got yeah. the same agenda, too. They go in the same office, yeah. Yeah. Hey, come on. Yeah, come on. It's like the prosecutor, and the DA, mm -hmm. and the judge. Where we going tonight, man? It's Friday. Yeah, we, we, we. It's like the judge, the prosecutor, and the DA. Right. It's like the state appointed the attorney. Yeah. The pill don't give a fuck if a nigga gets yeah, hurt for 20 they years. Had, they, they, they had the Christmas party. The Christmas party. They had the yeah. barbecue. They had the barbecue. Yeah, they had the pool party at the house. Yeah, at the house. Even all the kids. Yeah. All our kids go to school together. <laughs> shit. Yeah. yeah, Christ the King or some yeah, shit. Yeah, something, you know? Yeah, man. 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 Yeah, they eat lunch together, bro. They fucking uh, call, call pool and shit, the wives and shit. Yeah, Stop, man. Queen Sheba say lobbying is when they, is how they get rich, and that's a fact. You know what lobbying is? Let me tell y'all what lobbying is. If y'all didn't know, facts. A lobbyist is somebody just say, if I own a Fortune 500 company, I go to Congress and say, listen, man, uh, why don't you pass this bill for me right here? And if you pass this bill for me, your son can come work for my company, and I'll make him a CEO. He ain't got to go to college, and I'll pay for his college. And when he come, when he graduates college, I'll give him a job at my company because this bill you pass, I might make 1.6 billion. And all I got to pay him is 150000 a year. Come on, man. Come on, man. That's what lobbyists do, y'all. Mm -hmm. And they hire them. And they pass that bill for them. Yeah. Or if you reject this bill, your child or your daughter can go to uh, come get a job at my company and I'll pay him such and such, such and such. Mm -hmm. And Tony said, so how y'all feel about paying taxes? There's no law saying you have to pay taxes. Stay woke, brothers. But look here. We got to be realistic about shit, too. Ain't no way around that. Unless you change the system from within. Yeah. You understand right. what I'm saying? Yeah. So you got to roll with that for right now, bro. Yeah. Companies will give them stocks for pushing their bill that would that would made their business model needs to go smooth. Facts. That too. I just gave one example of what, of what a lobbyist is, but that's right. also another example, Queen She, but that's facts. Facts. You dig? Mm-hmm. We as a people need to learn to get our own because ain't no president or politician will change our lives. You damn right, D. Granger. And that's what we got to think twice. We militant too, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. we can't push that on everybody. Everybody's scared. They're not ready for that yet. It's coming, though. It's coming. Out of Pabbas, they're trying to pass a bill yeah, right yeah, now yeah, to put that whammy in the food instead of a shot this time. Mm -hmm. Look into it, family. Man, I remember like when I was coming up, everybody didn't need those, those breathing machines. Right. right. But I remember like when I was when I was like in my early yeah. 20s, I'd be going, going to Brawl's machine. I'd be going to Brawl's house. All these children got them goddamn machines. Mm -hmm. like, damn, everybody got that. Like, what the yeah, fuck is going on? That shit bad. It new. Wow. Yeah, both of them. Yeah, man. It's crazy, dog. We live in some crazy times, y'all. You dead? Tax started as a thought and was not supposed to be a long term. Long term. Now it's a shakedown like the mob. It is, Thriller. That's exactly what it is. Uh, Queen Sheba said Clarence Thomas really? was just caught accepting a home for his mama. Gold bars and vacations. You can't accept straight money, but you can have gifts. Well, the room is taxed, man. man. That's how long ago taxes have been. Yeah, man. man, that's just part of it, man. Listen, that's why I want y'all to look into Pan-Africanism. You understand? It has nothing to do with your religion. You can keep your religion. It ain't nothing but the ideology that people from African descent need to come together for a social and economic oh, just growth. Give, just put it like how we talk. It's black people, man. Because you go to put an African into it, like what it and is. And it's scam. They're scam. They don't like, want to be the African booty scratcher. Be African, so. yeah. They don't want to be the African booty scratcher. So you just say black people as a whole, we need to just come together as one. Period. Period. 
Period. Look, period. Antonio says, I seen Donnell Rollins say black people join the military for the benefits and said black people don't give a damn about defending the country. How y'all feel about that? I'm a former Marine, bro. Honorable discharge. So you know how I feel about it. Well, well so well, tell me this. What you 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 did it for the benefits? Well, I didn't know. How great are the benefits? Hold up. Wait, wait, wait. Let's make this clear. I wasn't conscious when I joined the Marine Corps. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't know nothing about government. I didn't know nothing about, you know what I'm saying? I really thought I, I was an American. Hey, Neither everybody the, loves me. Nigga want to get the fuck out of New York. We say Kumbaya, we all, you know, until we're yeah. struck you for real. When they say the few, few and the proud, they mean that shit. Yeah. You understand? We get to be a man, you get to be 21 years old, and you start paying your own bills, you're on your own. Reality will show you who you are and where the fuck you living at. Believe that. And they're not, you just acting like you blind, like you don't see it. Uptown 504 said, man, point blank, period. Get you a license, you can sell all the drugs you want. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. Y'all joined at the same time. Yeah, we in the same platoon and everything. Yeah. Appreciate you, Renell Trahan. USA started the tax after the Civil War like we broke people. Let us hold something to rebuild, and once they seen the money, came in and they kept it going. Everybody want to be black. You're right, Cyclone. Except for black people. Except for black people. They want to be everything else. They ain't black. They want to be Indians. They want to be more. Afro Latino, Israelites. They want to be everything else. Afro Dominicans. Well, I'm, rocking with, I'm rocking with the original man. I'm the original man right here. You're looking at on the screen right here. What's up, Mark? What's up? Two stories. What happened? What's up? What's up, Mark? Queen Shiba said, "My my family was probably served this country since the Civil War. My son, my boy, is deployed in Asia right now, and my family is proud and I salute you and I thank you for your service. Yeah, my father was a Marine and we was Marines. Yep. One of my big, my oldest cousin, she was uh, in the Navy. She retired from the Navy." Uh, my, a lot of my, a lot of my friends. My cousin Dwayne Korea. was in the army in Vietnam or Korea. One of them. Yeah, a lot of my people served. My cousin there. Jeff Wolf. Yeah, Wolf. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I didn't mean there's no black yeah, popping. And Mike was in Desert Storm too. See what I'm saying? Niggas even know that mystical. Mm, yeah, mystical. I didn't mean there's no black popping. That's their problem right there, Elwood. That's their problem right there. See, when you say I'm a, I'm a, uh, I'm a Dominican, uh, uh, Afro Latino, Afro Dominican. You're acknowledging the people that graped your ancestors. I just yeah. hate to bring that live okay. to you like Even that. Even if you say you Afro, there you go. Yeah. You Afro. Yeah. Why you? Why you? Yeah, you gonna serve on? You want to take the Dominican part? That's because they're ashamed to be African, though. Yeah. And that's the problem. Yeah. That's why we're in last place in all these categories. That's why. Yeah. They were they were romanticized with these religions and shit. Every race want to dress like us and want to talk like us. That's a fact. Cause we're the original. We're the original. You can't get fake from the from the. You gotta get original. Everything come from the original, man. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, man, that's how we do it. I would say my father was a marine. My cousin, my grandfather was army. Me and one cousin was navy. I got military in my family. Every every era. Yeah. My that's grandfather was in the um, world war. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, my daddy was in Vietnam. World you tell me all type of stories about Vietnam. My daddy Vietnam. was in Vietnam too. That shit made me want to go. Fuck no. <laughs> Look, my great grandfather, my, my father, my father, I, myself. I, I, I'm militant. We like have that. all served this country. We do so with pride. Hoorah! Hoorah! Yeah, I wasn't militant, but I know I ain't want to go to for what? That's them people fight. And that's see, all I ever and said. that's why we deserve parts of this country too. Y'all, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a pan African, but that don't mean we got to go back to Africa. Exactly. That ain't what that means. That, that don't mean we trying to make nobody go back to New Africa. That's not what that means. Yeah. That means we need to just work together abroad. They say, how is Rashid related to the Millers? Is he a Miller? No. I'm a Hogan. He a Hogan. But how you related to them? Marriage. Through, Through marriage. marriage. Straight up. I was ready to dive in the country before awareness. I was too. Yep. So when I came home, I was really ready to die for my homeboys. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I already was on that time already anyway. So when yeah. I got the military, I was already right where I wanted to be at, right on the battlefield. Hey, boys, I'm a miller on my mama's side from Lake Charles. I'm here now. Maybe we just left from Lake Charles like two weeks ago. Now I got to go back down to my little nephew down there. Uh, Elwood? Yep. Real talk. Oh, but he, he, in, uh, he in San Diego, though. You dig? He in San Diego. Hey, man, y'all like the video, man. Think Twice Podcast. Y'all hit, hit that cash out. Think Twice Podcast twice with the two, man. We got like 30, 40 more minutes before we get up out of here, y'all. We had a nice show tonight, though. Yeah. Certainly, certainly, man. Y'all see King Von uh he got hit in the face with a bat, but then he came. I see you see no, King, King Yellow. Yellow. King Yellow, you say you say he came back and said that was fake. Yeah, go see. He put it. He said, that nigga spit out blood for real, man. That's bullshit. No, he had shit. a bat saying, man. I, um, you can love me or hate me. Um, I, uh, it's marketing. 
and this, that, and the other. Oh, you shouldn't follow. Yeah, you shouldn't hit yeah, my yeah, phrase. Yeah, you know, all this yeah, kind of yeah. shit. He was saying, man. Because he's always been racism in the military. Yes. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Facts. I did. I can honestly say that. That's one of the reasons why I got out. Never think about that for a second. I seen the video and he put it out. Who the fuck gonna run, be getting shot at, and, and run die to with the a bat, with a phone out? Yeah, with a yeah. phone out. Videoing yeah. yourself like this. Good, though. You ain't missing a beat. Come but you on. can look in his face and tell he was serious like, man, where the fucking gun at, man? Bro, you trying to get the bro. gun. Them niggas got act. Listen, bro. I ain't never seen, I ain't never seen this yourself in that situation. You grab me your phone. All right, big oh, guy. Bro. Salute, brother. I'm getting windy. How you getting your phone when you just supposedly knock the nigga out, and then he hit you with a bat? Mm -hmm. Is well, that a lot of millers are from home? A lot of millers are from home. Yeah, like that video, that man. Like the video. Uh, yo, World War II, the blacks and minorities were promised perks like a house and benefits, but you know, helping minorities with a house is a step to help build a generational wealth. They ain't want that. That's why they had the Homestead Act, bro. Right. That's why they had that. Look up the Homestead Act, bro. That was a way for white people to get land and money way before black people could. Right. Look it up. Homestead Act. You learn a lot from that. Anytime a nigga tell you, oh, don't use that as an excuse, don't use no racism, this and that, yeah. watch a nigga like that. Yeah. Because he's trying to erase history. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Or oh, a nigga that like to say, well, black people enslaved black people too. Man, what the fuck do that mean? That mean we're going to exclude white folks? Niggas is ignorant, man. I got paperwork proof that show black military members were denied their benefits. I'm a black military member denied my benefits. I'm fighting for my shit I'm right fighting now. for my shit right now. I thought the military was a good way for a black male to make something of itself. But I couldn't put my life on the line and the bitches didn't look at me as an equal. D. Grange, I'm going to be real with you though, bro. It was a wonderful experience. You can make something out of yourself in the military, bro. You can. Vince Carter said, what does that mean when we say you're the originals? We are because, original man. Because the original man... Is the black man from Africa. The original woman is the black woman from Africa. All races and other decrees come from the original man and woman. What kind of mic it is, and, though? And now I can answer that question when somebody asks me which came first. I'm going to always say the woman. The woman came first. Yeah, the homestead that gave white property for a dollar back in the 1860s. The woman came first. The woman came first. And that's fine to admit that. That's cool. And you know why the woman came first? I'm going to give you all a quick, 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 quick genetic lesson. Because the XX chromosome... It existed for thousands and thousands of years before the XY chromosome existed. The man carries the XY chromosome. The XX chromosome is the woman. The only way the XY chromosome can even exist is if the, is this, is if the XX loses components. A third of its components. A third of its components. Every, every, every embryo is born a female. Yeah. And the first trimester is, is a female. And the first trimester, every embryo is a female. Exactly. The XY is a broken XX. Exactly. But it has to lose a third of its components to become an XY. Right. See what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why a man can have nipples, but they serve no purpose. That's right. See what I'm saying? Yeah, we got nipples, but they don't serve no purpose. Nothing. Hey, out of Patrick said, what y'all think about teaming up with family or partners to cop some makers? I feel like we'd be sleeping on the importance of owning land. Nah, I absolutely. If you come on our that. podcast, you know we talk about owning land is the goal. Yeah, that's the goal. That's all we talk about. Why you think? Why you think all them billionaires, Bill Gates, um, that other boy uh, out there, they done bought, they they own over what? How, what, 200 million? 600 million acres yeah. of land. Yeah. They bought it up cash. Right. That. And Oklahoma City, they get the land away for free. That's, That's facts. That's capitalism, Jones. man. Yeah. But see, we always talk about that, though. But let me tell you how black people, when they get some money, guess what they're going to do? They're going to buy a big old mansion right around, right next door to some white people who will burn their shit down to get a chance to. That's how stupid Well, they, they got smart none. They got Rick Ross. He doing he 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 playing the rights. They buying blocks now. They got a lot of cats buying blocks up. I'm gonna look yeah. at that uh, Nelson Oklahoma land grab 1889. I'm gonna look that up, bro. So we talk about street shit, but sometimes we kick that knowledge yeah. too, bro. Nigga ain't just yeah. no we get on a whole fucking, bunch man. of different shit on here, man. Like they had some OGs back in the game doing that too. Like uh, Quincy Jones, man, he had a whole block. Both sides of the street, all that shit. Man, that's why I respect that nigga Jay Prince so much, dog. Jay Prince got acres of land and, and cattle, cattle and shit, boy. Shit. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. You see, when we had out here in Texas, man, that's easy. Oh, it's easy out man, here, bro. They selling acres now for like 90K and shit. Listen, you know what it be? Acres, know what it be, too? Know what it be? Yes. <laughs> Look, them white kids, bro, 
Their parents leave them that shit. They don't want that shit. They don't want to live way out in the They want to live in the city where they can party they can and get party by a coke fun. and get drunk and get and catch them a that's big black cop. Yeah, I love it. I love it all country. shit. Yeah, man. It's like his own country. Yeah. yeah. That's why I don't give a damn with nobody. Say, I fuck with everybody on the split. Say, so you can bring that bitch anytime you want, bro. Yeah, you can bring that bitch anytime you want to, bro. You about to come, I'll give you my address, bro. I give the uh, location. I can pick that bitch up from you. It don't matter. Man, we been told you to pull up anyway, nigga. Can she rap? No, she can't rap. <laughs> boy, I bust a rap on you right now, boy. Hold on. A, a little, a little off subject. But do y'all think Reggie Bush deserves to have his hide back after all this nil stuff? Yeah, I don't think yep. she never took it. She never took she it. Never took it. They should never took it from her. Hey, it was earned. They ain't had nothing to do with no money. Vince Carter said, "Does that mean the whole world is Pan Africans, or do I have the meaning wrong?" Well, no, because a Pan African would be real with you. Hold up, hold up. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put it up. I'm gonna put a definition up for you, right? Yeah, now. he gonna pull it up for you. Just so we, just so we be clear. I don't want nobody to get it confused, bro. Yeah, the Black Eve was a movie that showed that every race came from her. I watched it in Miami clan. That's facts. Black Eve is a, is, is a scientific fact. Everybody came from this one woman. That's facts. That's your uncle who I didn't know as my partner. Why people be asking me? Ask us that all the time. I don't know. I don't know, bro. How y'all find land? How y'all? How you find land? Or what? Man, you can look up land. You can go. You can go Google land for sale. This is what Pan Africanism is, y'all. Listen, listen to me. Listen. This is what Pan Africanism is. First of all, it's an ideology. It's not a religion. None of that. It's just an ideology. Listen to me. This is what it is. Pan Africanism is the idea that peoples of African descent have common interests and should be unified. Historically, Pan-Africanism has often taken the shape of political or cultural movement. There are many varieties of Pan-Africanism. You know what I'm saying? But it simply means that all of us that come from African descent need to be unified globally. That's all it means. That's bro. all it means. That's it. I.e. In other words, black people. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, Dr. Umar is Pan-African. Yes. The Austin Lane. Pan African. Yeah. Marcus Gold. Dr. Khaled Muhammad. Rest in peace. Pan African. Delaney. Delaney. Pan African. You know? There's a lot of people, man. Everybody Dr. Clark. Was some boss stuff for Dr. Us. Dr. Ben. Dr. Clark. Even the boys. I agree with what he said. He was he was a Pan African. Y'all you know talking about y'all from this land. Dr. Here Small. Over here. Why are they knocking all our people who was over there trying to make something beneficial for, for Africans? They knocked them all. Yeah, man. Criminalized them. Criminalized them like a motherfucker. Yeah. Had you thinking it was bad. Nah, them people weren't bad. They weren't no dictator. It was getting their own money. So it didn't the rest of the world see that. That's what's about to happen. It's really right. Crippling. Another goal is Pan African is, is a movement dedicated to establishing independence for African nations and cultivating unity amongst black people throughout the whole world. There you go. Because we're all over the whole world, bro. Yeah. Hey. All over the we everywhere. Yeah. Hey. See what I'm saying? We everywhere. Right. We everywhere. We the only minority in the United States. But in the world, we're not the minority. Yeah. We the majority. We the majority on the planet. On the planet. Exactly. The European is the minority on the planet. They and bro, left. all it is, bro, all it is, bro, is, a, is an ideology. It's just common sense. Marcus Garvey. But don't forget, Jamaica pushed him out twice. But Marcus Garvey didn't start Pan-Africanism, though, bro. He didn't start it. He didn't start it. He ran for president and they picked the white man. Well, yeah, that's true, too. Garvey left with this great black Americans and pushed Pan-Africanism. Not just black Americans, though. Black Americans are descendants of slaves, bro. Most of us. Not all of us. Most of us. Yeah, I'm glad we have an intelligent conversation straight up bringing food for thought. Believe that. But see, W.E. Du Bois and them, the de Lane and them started that before Garvey. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Antonio said, but we can't even unite right here in the United States, and that's sad. Yeah, but we can't. Stop saying that. Yeah, hey, look. Times and conditions will dictate unity. You did. So that's why people say, well, well why ain't y'all just starting up? Because we all numbered here. <laughs> yeah. Shit. It's hard for us because, because, because we follow different type of ideologies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We don't know where we come from to know where we going. That's why we struggle with that. Yep. Right. Yep. Facts. You got some people fighting to keep this land and pushing people off this land. You got some people say, okay, yeah, we built this land too. We have... A lineage and homage to the greatest land, the greatest land in, in, in the world. Also, so they got to give you this, uh, all this help and hit this, that, and the other, 
So make them think they uh helping you out and all that stuff. So your ass will not turn on them. Look, some blacks were here already. There were Africans who left years before. That's what I see. But they don't make them indigenous to here though. That means yeah. you came from Africa. You came here. Yeah, you came here. You came here. You we always say that. Always say that. It's systematically set up like that. You right, Gary, uh, Gary and Bush. Yes, it's systematically set up like that. Yeah, yes. We understand that. Yeah, we, we get it. it. Some people got to feed them baby food. You can't feed them a steak. Raymond Hammond says, T Dog Capital. I, I believe don't know. so. I don't know. Is he capital, bro? I don't know. I heard him say that, but I, I don't know. He said, How y'all feel about inter interracial relationships? Hey, man, be whatever make you happy, bro. That's what I feel like, bro. That's for me. I like black women, but I feel like people should be with whoever the fuck make them happy. Don't, don't force you yourself to be with somebody because they black. And they're a bitch. Straight right. up. Be with who make you happy. But black ones is the best one. Yeah, for me. He said, we need more teachers and doctors. No, we don't need just teachers and doctors. You're right, but I agree and disagree. We need more teachers and doctors with no agenda to teach the truth. Yeah. Don't be a teacher let them hand your book. Even though you know it's a lie, you're going to teach this shit anyway so you can keep your job. Yeah. I don't uh, really that was say they really need teachers. You just give the people access. Give the kids at a certain age. Now I was going to say, if you ever seen the old Mex statues, you know black people were here before Columbus. Let me say this to you, bro. Old Mex statues, the people that live right there right now, look just like them statues. The same people that been living there then and lived there right now. That wasn't us, boy. Look it up. That wasn't us. That wasn't us. We need land, bro. And we need a plan once we get that land. We need land for sure. And we need to be able to defend it. That's right. Don't think you're going to get some land and just start prospering and shit like that. Duh. You got to defend that, whoa. You did? That's a fact. Man, listen. While y'all playing and joking and laughing about this Trump shit, I'm telling you, man, last time Trump was running, they had cars 26 miles. Tailgate to tailgate supporting Trump with rebel flags and all type of shit. Vince Don't Coleman tread said, on me, take it from me and all that. I'm lying, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All over Texas, boy. Yeah. I ask that because you said we're the originals and everyone descended from us. So I'm thinking all our original ancestors is from Africa. Or do the race make a difference? Trying to understand. To me, at this point in my life, I'm going to be real with you, son. I care about people's intentions with me. I don't care if you're purple. This is just me speaking for myself. Not speaking for none of my black people, none of my brothers, my partners. I'm speaking for me. I don't care if you're purple. In my lifestyle, in my life, either you just or you unjust. I don't care about none of that. All the reason, oh look, but look, tell me this here. It, it should be no offense or no explanation if I'm telling the truth, right? Either you agree or you disagree. Yeah. Did all life begin in Africa? That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's a fact. We don't have, we don't have to argue that. That's science. We're not going to argue science. Mark said we need schools and hospitals for us. We do. We do. We, we do. do. Yeah, that's that's what we need. Our own, our own banks, our own schools, our own curriculum, our own hospitals. Our own everything, bro. Our own... Everything. That I disagree with. My Mexico partner from Mexico say the old Mexico were black. Only thing them old Mexico not in Mexico though. That's the only thing about it. Right. That's in South America, my boy. Central America, like, you know, South America, Central America is not in Mexico. So I don't know how he know that. And then we just was a different bowl style, man. We got dropped all all over the but motherfuckers. We gotta realize, bro. We got yeah. dropped off. Look, everything separated us from a, a Haitian to a Dominican. Then you gotta remember to a, people ran. A Jamaican. It's a boat stop. Found other ones. Look, found free ones. Ed would say, I believe 500 years later we are allowed to be a different ethnic group. Jamaicans and Haitians aren't called African. I want to be foundational black American, but still know my Africa. Well, I tell you what, Europeans ain't stop calling themselves Europeans. Right. Check this out. And Haitians and Jamaicans know they are. They know they are. They know they are. That's a fact. They'll tell you. They'll tell you. you. Look it up. It's from an African descent. They'll tell you. Come on, man. The people that look like the old Mex still live where those hands are at right now. They look exactly like the old Mex. Nothing found the old Mex. No language, no, 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 no ingenuity, no, no academia. Nothing follows that. It's just a statue. That's it. Yeah. He said, how many black billionaires are in this country? There's no reason why we can't have our own something. They don't have a lot of black billionaires yeah. in this yeah, country. Yeah, they do. 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 I wouldn't call them black. Yeah, they is. But listen. They make them stay in their place. place. Exactly. Let's yeah. tell the truth. Let's tell the truth. They got a lot of black billionaires and millionaires. Billionaires too. We got a lot of black billionaires and a lot of black millionaires. They got a lot of black billionaires. Nah, I disagree with that. We got the right to refuse service. Right? You ever seen that somewhere? So that means even though they got them billionaires, they could got the right Look, to Look, Nelson Sharp said it's 22 black billionaires. That's what I said. They talking about a lot. That's a lot. That's not a lot. 
And it's, and it's billions of us. It's twenty two black billionaires. You talking about in America? Exactly. It's I mean, a, that's it's millions of us. Okay, well, when we say a lot, I think it needs to mean like twenty or more. No. 22 black billionaires is not a lot. It's enough for them to make a change, but they, the thing is, that's the point he was making. Von Reed Jenkins. They say, make them stay in their place. Von Reed Jenkins said Alka Balan was the original name for Africa. We know that, bro. Yeah. It was also called a whole bunch of other different things, bro. Ty Mary, Ty Seti, uh, Ortega, Ethiopia, uh, 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 what else? A whole bunch of different things, man. 22 is a lot, twin. 22? It's like two thousand billion dollars all together in the world. Well, the point he was making was why they don't help. People? Why they don't help? The point was why they don't help. That's why I said because they're not allowed to help. They're not allowed to help. They'll make you stay in your place. That's why when you go to the hood, yeah, that make it out the hood, they'll never go back to the hood and be like put nothing, build nothing back in the hood. It's like you better not go back in the build nothing in that hood. Nah, bro, we'll take all your money from you, nigga. Yeah, they we'll take all it, your money from. They in check, bro. They are basically in check, man. You gotta stay in check. Yeah. Or go against the grain. Yeah, that's how that go. Yeah, now I ain't gonna lie. P P did come back and do some shit in the year. He built the Yet Center. Yeah, he fixed us. He fixed that Rosenwald real nice. Yeah, the gym. Got a new uniform. Yeah. This shit. He did. I ain't gonna lie. He, he really did. did. I, I give him props for that. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. I think Juvenile had bought some uh, uniform for Shakespeare one time for them the boys. He did for Jubilee. No. Yeah, I believe, I believe he did. You no, know, Glorilla say it's sassy for a man to get edge in his seafood ball. First off, let me say this, bro. Come to the, come First, let me say this. Eggs in the seafood ball ain't no New Orleans thing. Let me say that. We do not put eggs anyway, in our seafood so, ball. Yeah, anyway, so she ain't talking about the New Orleans niggas. Right. I saw that, man. We don't put eggs in the I don't think nothing sassy about no nigga want eggs in their seafood ball, son. Man. The boy be saying anything. How we let Glorilla and Sexy Red define what a man is now? Anyway, how they gonna define what a man is? Because I booed the old brown. Man, shit. Too stupid ass out here. Fuck up out here. Here, lizard, lizard, nah, lizard. Glorilla said that. Glow, glow, glow. Yeah, Glorilla said that. Glorilla. Y'all got a wife talking about uh about uh sexy red. That's my partner, little baby, right there. Oh man. Ski. Nah, bro, he love that. Mm -hmm. He love that. He love that. See, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm gonna keep it all the way real. I don't like that weed shit. It smells. You ever had a female laying your house, laying your bed it with smells. that kind of hell? That, that shit smells. Whatever club she went to, that's what it smells like. That club. Waffle House. If you go to Waffle House, you're going to smell Waffle House. There's nine weed. black billionaires. It's Oprah. It's Jay-Z. It's Tiger Woods. It's, um, what the, uh, what the other boy name is? Uh, fucking, uh. They reaching, yeah. Uh, it smells like chemicals. It do. I don't like, she get all of your zinc. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that, man. True, and me living in the building. Yeah, man. That's the yeah. homie. That's the homie. So you can bring that camera, but you ain't used to let me know where you at, bro. Michael George. Tyler Perry. Sean. Yeah, Boy, so we had them hammer down jerseys at Lion Center. <laughs> um, bro. Y'all had the basketball. Y'all had the best basketball uh, gym. Y'all had a nice gym, though. And a nice pool. Mm hmm. Should I been with a white girl too? They have way more of a problem. Glue ain't got the right to speak on what goes on goes in seafood. Tell us stick the Memphis barbecue. Exactly. Right. Real shit. Exactly. That part. Real shit. Man, first I'm saying, but that don't mean nothing. We don't eat eggs in our gum, but I think if we were to eat eggs in our seafood ball, that would I'll try. And that means I'm sad because I, I ain't never had it. I see it. What's who's you? Because when you buy a ball, they be like, you like especially out here. Yeah. They'll give you ball eggs. I ain't never really all, all of that or wanted that, but Man, they won't come lay you and put their boot on. They want you to get behind them and spoon with them. Yeah. You'll have someone like fucking Jack and Coke and cigarettes and Waffle House. You know what I'm saying? I don't hey, like that. Hey, boy, so I hate that fake itchy. Yeah, that shit itchy, itchy, itchy. They think that shit be cute, man. A lot of them do that shit to impress each other. I'm telling you, a lot of shit that women do to impress each other with that. We don't be impressed by the shit that y'all do. That's another show right there. Now, Nelson Charles said, eggs and seafood ball some social media shit. Not really, because they do that out here in Houston. Yeah, they do. And other places they actually put eggs. That's not no Louisiana thing, though. We don't put eggs in the seafood ball. You did. Glow went from size 18 to A plus. Hey, bro. Check my page. I ain't got no eggs, no what no. I ain't never done that. So the Saints ain't really making no moves in this free agency. They got a good linebacker though. Yeah, they ain't really got no money to make no moves. Skrilla first. Who that one stand for Skrilla first? We don't need to take another shot. Nobody. We might get up off here, boy, in about 15 minutes. Well, I didn't 15 minutes, player. Out of Pepper said, we the only ones who don't practice group economics. Everybody else been raised knowing they survive. They survival depends on it. That's what we talking about, bro. Yeah, bro. We talk about that on the show all the time, bro. Make no mistake about it. Yeah. You can be Italian. You can be Irish. 
You can be Scottish, German, German, Dutch, European, European, and they stick together on just on that note. Yeah. Black people, they got to be every fucking thing but what they is. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's the problem. We was a practice group economics. They whipped it out of us. Yeah, Congo's go was an example of that in New Orleans, eighteen seventeen. It did. We was allowed to sell our wares, switch and, and, and trade and shit, and practice our religions and sing our songs and eat our food and cook our food. Yep. You did? Yep. Sure was. Yeah. That's facts. Look at us now, bro. Yeah. You ain't even gonna buy them from no black store. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna pass them and you're gonna spend your money with the Chinese. Who real, mm -hmm. real question. Do y'all believe tell? segregation will be great for us again? Yes. Yes. Yes, I do. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Because we gotta recycle black dollars. That's the yeah, brand new. we need to recycle. Yeah, but if you wanna buy hair, yes. buy it out the trunk of the car for that money. Then people got the same hair when they hit them damn. When they steal it from them, buy it from them. <laughs> Shit. You, remember, you remember Move in Philly? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they dropped bombs on them like they did yeah. in Tulsa? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. They put eggs in their gumbo and fushion. Who gonna go to? I want some fushion gumbo. No, indeed. <laughs> fushion. <laughs> fushion? You from Fushion? You from Fushion? I'm from around that. From down back there in Fushion. Other black folks know how to survive naturally. That's right. Yeah, we're resilient, resilient, bro. We're the most resilient people on the planet. They did everything to try to take us off this bitch. They did everything to destroy oh, us. It's crazy how Maggie Johnson got AIDS. I think 91 is still moving and shaking. He ain't nowhere near close to 91. Oh, in 91. Yeah. Man, they've man, they, they been. Say, bro, listen. If you think the cure for AIDS is not out right now, then you really behind on, on how, 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 how the pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical business get down. Got shit to Man, for every, for every disease they got a cure, don't even cancel. Yeah. Trust me, they do. They do. They do. Uh, what the hell is Yakamine? Y'all eat that? Yeah, Yakamine is almost like what they call faux out here. Yeah, it's like what they would call faux. Yeah. But it's seasoned the way that we season food in New Orleans. That's the difference. What it do, Timbo? What's up, Timbo? Shit, but we got to get some to eat when we leave here. You ate already? Right? No. Huh? Uh -uh. I'm hungry in the door. Chilling, fam. Yeah. Dino and Greedy, who were patting our game from, they came from Lions in the Yay. Yeah. Dino and Greedy was dogs and boys. Cool. Right. Got it from their daddy. That's a ball. Man. Yo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's up, A ball? Well, we used to play three what it do? tournaments, man. Is that yeah. the real A ball from A ball and MJG? You know. I brought into that bullshit the other day. Common sense better tell you to grind and hustle. Like a man, you. Use your mind and muscle. We be space age pimping, living space age fantasies. Trying to get our pockets green like a can of peas. We be the whole that hold brag to their friends about. Beat that, that, beat that pussy inside out. That nigga went crazy. Segregation will only work if we own the land that our businesses are on. If not, the more we make, the more they will raise the property tax every year. Got to keep them out of our pockets. Exactly. That's economics. Uh, uh, uptown yep. 504. Yep. Yeah. Yep. A ball kill every verse. Certainly. No shit. He, he not underrated, though. People never really know who A ball is. They know what's happening with He fought from underrated, though. I would never say that. When he said, I love it when she give me head in the biz. Up and down, swallow it and get in the wind. But that nigga boy. cold. Boy, it's cold. Yeah. Hey. Man and Fresh versus DJ Paul. Man and Fresh. Man and bro. Easy quickly. You know what I'm saying? Everything they come out with, like technology, etc., they've been had it. They just put it in the public. Exactly. That's right. Yeah. You see, y'all need to do the P.O. box so I can see y'all some rusty bottles. Man, you can send it to the, to the address, man. Yeah, send it to the address. Here we go. Just be bigger in the south than the north or west. We got a call coming in, y'all. Think Twice Podcast. What's happening, brother? What's up, brother? This is the brother 8-Ball. This ain't the MJG 8-Ball. This the other 8-Ball from the Midwest. Oh, okay. Oh, I did that. What's happening, that? That? What's happening brother? I appreciate you, Real man. talk, real talk, Conrad. That makes feel good. That's what's up. Yeah. Different, different parts of the country, never met each other, but we still vibe. You understand what, what's first, you dig? On code. Yes. We're on code. Ain't no question. Ain't no question. Right, right. Real recognize real, brother. Believe that. Yeah, I, I stand tuned with y'all, man. But I was just sitting up here wondering, man, where y'all gonna, uh, well, do y'all know OG Murder from down there, man? 
he a little younger than me, but yeah, I don't right. really know him like that. Yeah, he a little younger than me, but I really don't know him personally. But like me and that. his cousin, a female cousin of his, we real, real jam. You know what I'm saying? Okay, this what I'm, this what I'm tripping on, man. I, I understand, man. Y'all, y'all rep, y'all rep, you know, and y'all love all y'all artists down there. But man, why is Turk putting all these stunts on, on the hot boys, man, and, 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 and causing all this confusion because he, he going, I, I don't really know him, but from what I'm seeing, for the crap, man. Well, put it like, let me, tell you, let me give you my answer on that, bro. Just because people love him as a rap star and they love the way he is as an artist, don't necessarily mean that he make the best decisions or he'll do shit, some shit that a real nigga will do all the time. He's, like, still, he's still a regular nigga that just make mistakes and do everything shit. Everything that he do because of who he is is under a spotlight. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So he don't make the right decisions or say the right things all the time. But it's not personal because recently, him and BG, he apologized, you know, even though he said he wasn't going to apologize no more, man, Juvenile is calling, man, the Fresh is calling for all of them to get their mind right, bro. Right. You feel me? He actually came on his show and he said his piece. But that's what I'm saying. He keep putting his foot. He was just on there saying, uh, fuck a hot boy tour. All oh, this that you was just saying that two days ago. Now you trying to, because you heard Juvie say that you weren't screaming Juvie, man. Turk for the crap, man. Y'all people. Everything Turk been doing, man. Turk is out there clock chasing. You look at him, Turk look like he hurting, and, and everybody else is doing that thing. Turk act like he, he, like he wanna. Well, see, look, hold on, let me say this, bro. Let me say this. Coming from our perspective, bro, where we know both of them dudes and been around them, Turk came on our show and explained the reason why he's his business start going off. It was because he wasn't saying nothing at first, and BG kept throwing shots at him, right? This is what Turk said out, out his own yeah, mouth. Check it out that episode. Yeah, yeah, check it out that episode. Like we did it like two days ago. Yeah. Right. Okay, that's what I'm saying. I seen that, but see, this is what I'm saying. I watched that man when y'all be doing these things, man. Y'all be seeing. Y'all have to ask these cats these right questions to what? I, because I'm not biased. I'm a real dude. Yeah, I feel you. The real, and I'm gonna ask. Come on, Turk. You said you said up there and said that's why I said that y'all know OG murder, OG murder, telling everybody everything before it even happened with Turk. And I, I went back and did my research on, on that. Turk don't why he, he come up there, you you address everything else people say about you, but you're not addressing uh sitting down with gangster. If you're supposed to be a so so called street dude, you see Damien sit down with him, Lil Wayne, Juvie, BG, but you gonna sit down with him you clock chasing. People don't ask no type of question. Then with dude always screaming, you sit up there, you talking about BG look like a penitentiary fat. Come on, man, that's disrespectful. But you sitting up here, you won't you won't answer to the uh well people talking about you have that PT Cools that look that look gay boy PT Cools and you was up there running up in them gay boys. <laughs> <laughs> the C's and all that, that dude be screaming about that's from New Orleans, OG murder. I don't hear him or a gangster responding to that brother. And that brother, when that brother talk, he be giving it to you in a raw. And he's, he, that's like he always say, Turk, you was with them boys 20 years ago. Turk, you ain't really did nothing. You, and then you Put it like this. People. Put it like this. I ain't never knew Turk to be with no boys, bro. I don't know about that. I can't speak on that. But I feel like this here, man, if they're on their chest like that, then we can put the gloves on and go ahead and put, you know, inflict some pain on each other. If it's that serious, if it's that serious, you know what I'm saying? Box it up. You know? Because at this point, ain't nobody gonna kill nobody. It's all on the internet. Right? Ain't nobody, gonna, ain't nobody gonna get shot. And we ain't finna bring no iron to this situation, which I wouldn't. We about to, we about to get it in. It's all about, come on, man. Y'all see how that man, that man trying to terrorize BG. Even though BG said what he said in the little song or whatever. Turk, you was talking about that man when he was in the joint. When that man was sitting down, you was talking about you used to be jealous of him and all this stuff. Ain't nobody remembering all of that. You was talking about BG and BG done shows in Memphis when you was locked up and sucked all that money to you. Just like OG Murder said, you out here, you talking about you was selling BG uh, t-shirts, free BG. But, but you couldn't sell a, 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 a Turk t-shirt. How you gonna use this man's name in vain and get some money? I'm talking, oh, I gave the shirts away. Why would you want to give the shirts away all of a sudden when you talking about free BG? Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out, bro. Look, this is how I look at it. That between them two niggas, bro. That's some, to me, that's some negative shit. You know, Turk saying all these negative things. That's some whole shit. Niggas sitting back just making videos about each other. You know, let's let the female do that. Then we about unity and coming together, yeah. bro. You know what I'm saying? That's why 
I really don't entertain that. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I hear the same thing you hear. And I'm not disagreeing with you, bro. I'm just saying I just don't entertain that. I really don't be fucking with that. And we got like two that. rules, bro. One rule is uh uh everything goes out here in the streets and rule number two is just stay the fuck out of that nigga business. Because guess what? Nigga don't know this nigga don't know who be sitting out with gangsters and talking to gangsters. Nobody don't know. A nigga fuck around make yourself look stupid when they find out he talking to somebody you think you would never fuck with. I used to live in Victorville. I live in Victorville. Okay, I did my time in Victorville in California. It's hot as fuck. I'm not saying that make me any different than anybody else that did some time somewhere else, but it was different time in Victorville. But anyways, gangster, you had done all these things, man. And you and you out here, you study trying to crucify people, you trying to act like you you the civilian. If you was if you were so much of a civilian, you would be doing civilian things. You wouldn't even be on YouTube. So now you want to crucify other people. But you know what though? You, he, he he admitted he was a rat though, right? But this is the thing I don't understand. But they got niggas who say they don't fuck with rats. Got rats stay right next door to them. They ride the car them every day. They go to the store with them. They go to the store with them. They play spades, the dominoes, dominoes. They, 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 they hustle with them. Play the game with them. They hustle with them every day. You know. A whole lot of them. Almost all of them. Almost all of them niggas, man. It's a dirty game, bro. Yeah. It's a lot of them. It's a dirty game, bro. Yeah, we did. Hey, listen, bro. The reason why I'm not feeling what you're saying because we did an interview with Gangster. Right. Uh -huh. A lot of people did interviews with him. But that don't make me no fucking rat. That don't make me no rat. You know what I'm saying? But you know how I feel though, bro? This is how I really feel, bro. A lot of them dudes that talk about who rats and who ain't rats and shit. I, I was in the game the whole time they were talking about all this shit. You yeah. understand? I'm almost 50 years old. I'm out the game, bro. And I'm glad to be out the game. Yeah. So in my hold up, check it out. So in my mind, I don't give a fuck who a rat or who not, bro. I don't even care because first of all, you can't bust me because I'm not selling nothing. And for number two, I'm not in the game no more. Nah, bro. I don't care who I don't care who the rat is. I don't care who's selling the most dope. I'm out. almost 50, brother. I don't care who the shooters is. I don't care about none of that shit, bro. I know how to move. I've been moving around these snakes, bro. It don't phase me. It don't phase me. I've been moving I'm around them. I'm not saying ratting is cool. Never. Because, you know, yeah, I got partners in jail. The niggas and ratting on and sent them up. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying. But look, we got to get some more callers, bro. I appreciate you for calling in, brother. I ain't going to lie to you. No, I got some against him. I, I got some against him because you don't get in the game and write on nobody, but that's fake. No, I don't trust him. I'm saying against them to where I want to do something to him. Right, he exactly. Right. Yeah. At the end of the day, it is what it is, man. I appreciate y'all that be coming up on y'all kind of check my book out, man. I wrote a book, man. I'm from Chicago. Put it in, put it in the chat. Put the book, name of the book in the chat and where we can get it from. Yeah, put the name of the book in the chat. It's called Life from Cabrini Greens, man. I'm from, I'm from Cabrini. Okay, okay. All right, hurry it up. Alright, put it in the chat, man. In the chat, brother. We gonna holler. We gonna get at you, brother. Peace. No, salute. Salute. All right, comrade. That's real. He have a right. To, he have a right to feel how you want to feel about mm -hmm. that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say this though about the internet, bro. Without saying too much, you never know 
who may be friends or not friends because what the internet saying. Right. You don't want to choose a side in that because when they when they're back cool and they uh uh chumming and buddy buddy, man, you're gonna be left holding dick. Like, you oh, have man. what you hear and some of what you Have see, of what you hear and some of what you see, man. This shit is slick out here, man. This internet this shit is slick, bro. And you got to be a slick. I'm a can of Earl, bro. The internet is what it is, but the twins are Rashid, bro. We cans of Earl, bro. You we can't slick no can of Earl. We come from that. Mm. I see shit for it happening. I don't always yeah, jump out yeah, with an yeah. opinion. I fall back and I listen and I pay attention. I be like, just wait. Yeah, man. Watch this, man. Just wait when the curtain open up. You be like, oh, it wow. just let me know how advanced a nigga be. Like how much I just it's better than just. Especially when it comes yeah. to people where I'm from. Yeah, they'll go to the dude book Life from Cabrini Greens by Tyrone Malone. Y'all check it out. Yeah, Life from Cabrini Greens by Tyrone Malone. Check it. That's where Candyman from, y'all. Candyman from Cabrini Greens. That's where the first one was at. Yeah, like y'all not about to finna get no street magic with gangsters like y'all said. Y'all, I'm on the streets. I'm on the streets, brother. I'm on more fifty, yeah, my nigga. For sure. They get money on this internet. With yeah, we we gonna answer that thing, man. I hope BG get made. What's shout out? BG used to hang in, hang in uh, Detroit, man. The Grand Rapids and shit. For, that's a fact. Why is the northern group don't call each other snitches or say they talk too much? Well, right. they do. Not out loud. Cause I'm gonna tell you to call your motherfucking hump and your fucking hump in a minute. Them niggas don't give a fuck. Don't exploit each other down. So Not like niggas do. Not like niggas. You don't see that on the internet. Yeah. yeah. You don't see him. You don't hear no. Um, you don't see him talking about see, the bro, white man ain't this. If you still in the street selling drugs, you should be worried about who a rat or not. You understand? I'm not. Put it like this here. So I don't care about who a rat and who not. Put it like this here. Let me explain something. I don't mean I trust you. If a nigga going around the hood touching little children and shit, and I can't get my hands on him, call me a rat. I'll tell on that bitch. I'm bro. Okay, you a rat? You you. Straight you know, like somebody fucking with children, I can't get to right myself. Now, we go outside and motherfucker breaking in your neighbor car. Right. You call the police, that's a rat? No, it ain't no rat to me. That's not no rat to me, bro. That's not no rat to me, bro. That's grown man shit. People work too hard for this shit for you to bitch. It's a it takes niggas that come from the street to let you know, man. It's okay to let that street mentality go, man, my nigga. It's okay to let it go. I got little pockets right now. Go. Man, people Period. work too hard for this shit for you bitches go to steal from them, man. Y'all know Birdman when he had the fade? Yep, everybody knew Birdman when he had the feed. You in the game? Nah, you can't do that. But you denounce the game and never go back. Go go away, look back, and stay over there. That's what I'm saying, bro. Man, you man. out the game, stay over there, man. man listen, you a cold blooded hustler, bro. You don't never put yourself put, put yourself in a position where a nigga could ride on you. That's all. When you a cold blooded hustler, that's why that shit never even affected me, and man. That's the other thing. A lot of the niggas who be calling niggas rats. They don't even be in no situation where they nigga will ride on them. I'm a rat. I ain't never rat. Yeah, you don't put yourself in them kinds. You ain't never had enough or did enough before a nigga yeah. to rat on you. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah you ain't never did that. No situation. Yeah, like you ain't never held no block down or ran no motherfucking yeah. traffic or held no, you know, slung no. That's what I be tripping off. Like, yeah. what the fuck you what did? You, did. About how you ain't rat. Of course not. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck you did? Nothing. Right. Brothers man, fight, listen. fight, fight, friends, fight, but y'all deal with that on y'all time. You don't go out in public trying to embarrass your folks. I do exactly. think that's where that's where I turk them kind of wrong and, and BG. Yeah, that's what I don't even bought that to no internet. Cause yeah. Turk said some shit though. He gonna have a, he not. See, bro, Turk said some things that I know baby offended about dog. Oh hell yeah. We yeah. talk about we need with the, the the Rolex thing. See, but I know he offended about that. I'll be offended about it. I I wouldn't forgive you for that, whoa. Yeah, for real. Baby said it, man. So, I took my partner too. I'm going to keep it 100. Some my, things I can't forgive you I wouldn't forgive you for that, dog. That's why just because a nigga a rapper, you favorite entertainer, don't mean you're going to say the right thing out of his mouth every time. Yeah. Sometimes right. niggas say things, though, they probably wish they could take it back. But he's got to, they got to stand like, I, I meant what I said. No, take that shit, nah, man. Nah, man. At the end of the day, he a man. He can stand on what he said and, and uh, you know, and he can, you know, vouch for himself for it, man. Man, man, and fresh already said, bro, like, you know, uh, it's time to make your move, man. You know what I'm saying? He pleaded for BG to make his move. Cause Turk, Turk, Turk must have did something to see he would he with the tour. Juvenile said, long as I got breath in my body, we gonna have this tour. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody wanna have a tour, man. Nigga put the ego to the side. Facts. That's what Money I'm will make a nigga up. put the ego to the side. I don't care what a nigga tell me, I don't know no, anything. See, that's what that's how it is in the city with us. Though. Yeah, I'm older than a civilian, man. Yeah, I'm older than a civilian. Yeah. That's my son. You dig? This is, this is, yeah, he was out of line for a lot of shit he said. That's why I said, because he, you know, y'all love him and like him as an attendant. Me gonna say the right thing every time. Yeah, he may right. think, but you got a man up and take that charm. Like, man, I talk too fucking much. Yeah. Shit, I want a celebrity to is a human, is that? That's what I'm saying, Squilla. Yeah, he a human. And then we don't know if he's doing for his views. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. They call it getting down first. They do, David. They do. Yeah. 
But see, that's the thing about me. I always put myself in a position to where I, I can only tell on myself. Nigga don't know my business. They might know what I do, but they don't know my business who I'm meeting up with when I'm I can only tell on myself. Mm -hmm. That's how that shit supposed to go, man. And like he like Rock said, a lot of niggas be talking about my ratting this, ratting that. You was nobody, nobody never rat on nothing you ever did. You know what I'm saying? You never never like. Oh, time father said, man, if you're watching the fake, baby, don't get mad. We all won't face shit. Well, he said it wasn't. You feel what I'm saying? The whole we, point we is, we to say that shit, though. Even if it was fake, that ain't for you to go tell nobody about my home telling people it's real. You go back and say, baby, was lying, it's fake. Why would you do that? What was, the, what was he the game from doing that? You trying to make baby like he fake or something? I don't understand that. Your son is Ray Ray Kareem, bitch. They ain't my son. My son named Kevin. When we doing this thing twice, so we got to work on that, bro. I'm trying to get my mics and my cameras and shit together, man. I got some mics in this bitch, though. Yeah, we got some mics, man. We did. Need a few more elements that go with that, though. Yeah, I'm going to get a mini probably tomorrow. Vince Carter said, people have to speak on rights, but the same ones got worse flaws than ratting. You don't know what you'll do with the life sentence that 22 years will break you. I don't judge unless I walk in your shoes. See, it's not even for the judge. If niggas admit to self that they being a rat, you automatically know, okay, we're not doing no street business, no kind of street politics. And everything else is just the internet going to be the internet. And let me ask y'all this. Do y'all think somebody that do a crime and get busted and rat immediately is the same as somebody that did almost 25 years and, and rat is the same thing? And I'm not saying it's cool. I'm just asking you, this, this is rational thinking. You think that's the same thing? I do. I think it's worse a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But that ain't the same thing to me, yeah, bro. Yeah. That ain't the same thing to me. You got 24, you about to die in this bitch. You doing anything in your, anything that's dressed to get you out this motherfucker. I'm not condoning. I ain't just talking about gangsta. I'm just using this as an example. Uptown 504 said, telling the truth, not hating. You yeah, know? but that don't mean it's cool because you ain't hating. You can say it. Some shit is appropriate. Some shit is not appropriate. Right. You don't say everything. Just, you don't say it because you can say it. You know what I'm saying? But listen, if I get, if me and you, if we did get, yeah, get crabbed and get burned. Know, yeah. You don't repeat that, man. What about everyone wanted to know something, I got burned? Something like the girl with the arena shit, nigga. That's hate, man. Yeah, yeah that's hate. You ain't got to repeat that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the facts. Nigga say uh, Dre was in the back seat eating him up when he found out about the jail and uh, what you call this shit. Yeah, he can't. He nigga ain't mad to say that shit, man. Yeah, man, I wouldn't even give a fuck. I wouldn't even care. I wouldn't care either. You know what I'm saying? If I fuck with somebody, I like them, I don't care. Yeah. Man. You can't make me not like them. Talking about what you done did with them and all that. Yeah. No, it don't go like that. He said he was just telling his story. Hey, man, it is what it is. Man, that's hate. He had to say he ain't been telling. He be on podcasts all day. He could have been saying. Man, that. hey, look, the tour gonna happen. I know Turkey said that before you want about fuck the tour. It ain't happening. See, Juvenile said it. Manny said it. Wayne said it. Like I said, man, it could be the setup, man, for the make it be big when Turk come bust out the back on y'all. I'm bruh. I'm bruh. Yeah. 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 You heard that me? That would make it big, though, I'm dog. telling you, man. That make like, it big. Yeah, oh, Turk ain't here. Yeah, 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 Whoa, yeah. Oh, you know, that's cool. I'm going to get busy to call him one of these days, the man. I'm going to get busy to call him one of these days, man. That song now? Yeah. It'll go crazy. Yeah, I want to hear BG side, but BG ain't, I mean, he ain't been talking to nobody lately. But I want to hear BG side from his mouth. Yeah. I want to hear BG from. Was it crazy when they came out in the helicopter? That was crazy. Yeah, that was bro. crazy as shit, right? That was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy, dog. Yeah. But I, I really want to hear BG side. BG ain't never told this side yet. So look, y'all, we're going to get up out of here, man. You know what I'm saying? We back Friday, 9 o'clock, man. Friday at 9 o'clock. Y'all tune in. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, back again. Thank y'all for coming. Salute to all my people, man. Power to the people. Love y'all. Somebody had that camera. I ain't gonna be doing this phone shit no more, boy. Yeah, but